you you have a couple options here. You have a couple options. Do you want? Do you want uh hair option one, which is the normal hair for this outfit? Do you want ponytail again? Or do you want like OG hair for my first outfit? I will make a poll. Okay, I will make a poll. New poll. Uh uh, OG hair, uh, ponytail, or I'll call it new hair. New hair is the newest one. Okay, one minute poll, go. <laughs> it didn't post. One minute poll, go. You tell me, you tell me. I'm answering it. A DM. I'm trying to set up uh, Apex with Fruit sometime soon. I want to make sure I game with everyone at least once, whether it's on my channel or their channel or whatever, uh, within within these like next two weeks. I'm gonna hit everyone up. So I want to do Apex with Fruit because I unironically love Apex Legends. I don't really stream it much, but I love playing it, even if I'm do do it. Uh, FPS, I still will jump in every time. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna pick a day and some people. We might, we're gonna ask our PR, I'll see. I'll see who our third ends up being, but we're gonna ask. Ponytail one, let's see how close the other two were. Uh, OG hair and new hair were, ooh, they were very close to each other. Wow, we. You guys like ponytail the most? Is that your favorite? Is that your favorite? Okay. Well, we'll do that then. We'll do that. Boop. Ta da. Ta da. Thank you. We'll do glasses today since I did eye patch uh, yesterday. Yesterday. You know, it's really funny. <laughs> Fruit's messaging me. <laughs> and I don't think she knows I'm streaming. She's just like, oh my god, they, did you know they nerfed Seer? <laughs> she <won 100 laughs> we'll see if she notices. Adoption, she got who. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I've been playing Pathfinder. <laughs> I'll just I'll just sit here and answer until she realizes or maybe she won't who knows or I'll just tell her <laughs> so big dog hi welcome what did you guys do today I'm in a weird spot today because I uh I woke up <laughs> I got out of bed at 9 a.m I got out of bed at 9 a.m which normally I'm on like basically pacific time because all my friends are you know staying up late pst hours so I just I just wake up late stay up late and i get like okay sleep and that's fine i don't i'm not a person who sleeps very long hours i usually like don't don't really sleep that long so it's fine but i had to wake up at 9 a.m because i had a doctor's appointment and i went to the doctor and then i did an errand and then i did another thing and then uh and then they drew my blood and i <laughs> he took <laughs> they took four vials of blood so i'm a little ooh, as that replenishes I'm a little ooh. You ever you ever have them uh, draw a lot of blood? It's just kind of I'm doing all right. It's 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 been um it's, it's been replenishing, you know. Not eight vials. Yeah, no. When <laughs> Did I tell this story? When I if you've been here for a while, you know, when I was very sick and I was about to have my surgery, um we did like last final blood work uh a month before the surgery. And they took eight vials of blood to do like every test under the sun and check like every level of everything and i streamed that day <laughs> i streamed that day and i was just like ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah you guys <laughs> it was just <laughs> yeah like a prune like i was all shriveled up in my chair just like hey <laughs> you know nick thank you for the five gifted subs thank you 
yeah so so i feel a little woozy but not um not like that day not like that day so you know Congrats you've gotten eight taken the they lost the it oh new outfit but Thank it matched that my shoujo merch is incomplete. <laughs> the shirt and blanket I got in X with all mm -hmm. the shoujo girl just feels empty without you in <laughs> it now. That's the thing. I was like, guys, we have to release new stuff with everyone on it. But don't worry, there will be stuff. Cheer 100 there will definition be. of glizzy. A sausage slapped between soft buns and squirted with uh -huh. a collection of sweet and tangy mm -hmm. sauces. I keep getting, um recommendations in my youtube of clips of myself explaining what a glizzy is <laughs> um, i woke up this morning and it was just so many like clips of myself oh, talking okay, about glizzies tanya <laughs> I was like, me and mel like explaining them <laughs> Fuck. all the the henya clippers are crazy they're so fast they're literally so fast giga can sell blood as v shoujo merch <laughs> my my blood is not in high demand i'm ab negative um there are not many people who are taking my blood <laughs> it's it's not it's not in high demand i'm not really good for a donor plasma is good though i could donate plasma and it, and it could be you know well accepted that's great but no my actual blood i'm like <laughs> I'm like the universal taker, not the universal donor, you know? <laughs> Excellent hemostasis, boss. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I pulled the... Oh, my left my left arm. I had them draw blood from my left arm. My left arm feels like crazy still. I thought this feeling would wear off, but it's... Ugh. 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 It's, it's like... When you're... When you're blood is cut off when your circulation is cut off to your arm and then you go past the pins and needles stage and then you're in that like weird numb stage and then it comes back to normal feeling my arm has just been in like a slightly weird numb stage this whole time but just very lightly and i'm like Ooh. and it's not much but it's enough for me to notice it like it's not bad at all but i think about it i'm fixating on it you know what i mean hate that feeling so much yeah 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 it's not it's not the worst though it's it's like very light but i could feel good about it because i can feel it <laughs> Ah. Your A negative, which tends to be useful for, for people with A positive and negative, means I can only receive A negative. Yup, yup. I could take what any any negative blood. I could take is is that correct for my A B negative? I believe. Slay B negative. That's you. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yup. Flight attendants told me to turn on airplane mode, but unfortunately, Giga is live. Sorry, Southwest. <laughs> No, 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 thanks. Didn't you know your singular cell phone will cause so much interference? The plane goes down. No. It's not that bad. It just each each bit of interference makes it uh, a little more poo poo. You're O negative and you're worried that one day the Red Cross is going to kidnap you. Honestly, go into hiding now. <laughs> go into hiding right now. <laughs> you better start running. They're coming after you. They're gonna have that truck, the American Red Cross truck, where they're like, it's the blood donation truck, and they're just gonna be driving. If you see a red truck sitting outside of your house, close your blinds, keep them closed. You're not home, lights off. <laughs> no, really, if you, if you are O negative, you really should donate if you can. You really should. Not many people, uh, not many people. Oh, so a, a mod just messaged me and said, can you move the text for the faction points to the right and up just a couple pixels? It's slightly off. Oh my God, you're right. Do you guys see it? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I thought I fixed it. I think there are a couple things that I've accidentally dragged as I've moved other things around and that's probably one of them. Okay, wait, hold on. It like snaps. Is that good? No, right there. Okay, is that good? Message me again. How do you feel about it? Moderator of mine, take a screenshot and make it huge and then tell me if it's good. <laughs> he messaged me and said, I feel gay. <laughs> we knew that. We knew that. It's okay. It's good. It's fine. This is a fruity zone. 
anyway while my mod uh, trauma dumps in my DMs. Would you guys say I would pretend to love K-pop for you, Giga? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not like some huge, huge K-pop stan of the current day or anything. I really liked a lot of it back in the day, uh, when the genre, I guess, was more cut off from everything else, so it had more of its own sound. And then now, um, I don't know, it's just more globalized, and it's not bad. And there's still plenty of artists from there, from other like nearby countries, that also do like really unique styles of music, but. I don't know if I'm not going to like jump in and be like, oh, this group from Korea, I have to listen to them, you know, because it's just uh, chances are they're doing like very Western sounding stuff now, which isn't bad. They still have a lot of things that can fly musically over there that wouldn't work over here that they do. But yeah, but I've, it's not just that I was always also really into J-pop and a lot of other related things. But um, I think people have just only heard me talk about K-pop because Mousy brought it up one time and it was it was over. <laughs> It was over. I was like, do you remember in 2010 when this person made me remember? <laughs> yeah, hipster. <laughs> well, because I was listening to it like, like even in the early 2000s, man. <laughs> you know, from, but it wasn't super into it at the time. But like I, I knew of it and there were like a couple groups where I was like, oh, I really like their music. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I always enjoyed it, but I always enjoyed a lot of J-pop too. I mean, something I don't talk about much. I know we like mention idol shit here on stream sometimes but i was always into a lot of hello project groups and and like i really like there's a j-pop i, I want to say boy group but like i'll call it man group because they're old now called exile that i always really liked <laughs> and like i remember i have like morning musume cds from like their platinum era and and like pri prior it's it's <laughs> A lot of my most favorite, like, prized merchandise is, like, stuff like that that's really hard to get now. I love that kind of stuff. J-Men. Well, the group Exile's been around for forever, and a lot of them are in, like, their 40s and older. So, you know. <gasps> Falcon, thank you so much. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. But, yeah, I love I love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Can you guys guess? It's a it's a Japanese artist, not, a, not like, a pop group or anything. Who do you think my favorite... Japanese artist is. They're my favorite artists of all time. Do you know? Outside of Janet Jackson, though. I guess she's technically my favorite, but we'll, we'll put her aside for a second. Who, who do you think it is? I've, I've mentioned them before. They've been around for a long time. They've been around for a long time. Cacto. No, no, no. Yeah, Sheena Ringo. Yeah. Yeah, Ringo. And, and her band, Tokyo Jihen, is like my most favorite Yup. Yup. I've been trying to like push her music on my friends and be like, can you listen to her? Because I feel like she doesn't she doesn't market herself outside of like the, the J-pop sphere and the J-rock sphere and the J-alternative sphere and everything. And a lot of her music doesn't even fit into those spheres anyway. So she's just like not incredibly well known outside of Japan and like Southeast Asia. So I've been trying to get my friends to listen to her, but I don't think she's obscure at all. It's not like, oh, you can be a hipster by being like, I like Nishi Ringo. Like she's very well known, but you know, she's just like, she doesn't market to the West. So I think people are like not likely to find her maybe, but oh, her instrumentals, her band is so good. Her writing is really solid. So I've been like, <laughs> a lot of my friends that do song covers, I've been showing them a lot of her songs that I think like suit some of them. And I'm like, you should do this, Mana. You should do this duet. <laughs> you know, like her jazz stuff. Yeah, me too, me too. Which has the best. The best. And she always does that for you. She takes a lot of genres and just kind of like blends them into what she normally does. Did you get into the 80s J-pop meme like five years ago? It was It was a meme? Hey, if they give the raid, welcome on in. No, what? It was a meme five years ago? What do you mean? <laughs> I missed that, whatever that is. <laughs> what happened? Utada and Sheena's singles are so good. Yeah, they have quite a few duets that they've done together. They're all like insane the plastic love era oh oh when everyone when everyone got back into city pop yeah okay 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 yeah i yeah <laughs> and hey i was glad to see it because i was like okay maybe maybe you know this really good genre that like absolutely works outside of its time will get more love that's great but then everyone listened to the same three songs <laughs> I, there was a good number of people that did get like properly into a lot of city pop though there there were but um, 
<laughs> you know what sucked? Instead of people just making playlists of city pop and going, here, listen to this, so many people, they were like, this is my city pop nightcore remix playlist. And like, that's what everyone was listening to or like all these big remixes. And I'm like, hey, remixes are cool, but like a lot of the originals are solid, okay? <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> Love you, Ken Hoshino. <laughs> yeah. Shino Ingo is the inspiration for Miku from Banamade. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's she's been around for a long time. She's really prolific in Japan. Like, she's really well known there. And um, she did a lot of, like, alternative music. She talks about a lot of things in her lyrics that a lot of people would not normally consider, like, standard for Japanese music, for us, especially for a woman, you know? And, um... And she was just known as like a little bit of a rebellious artist and and so a lot of like younger artists really looked up to her i don't know tldr she did cool shit and you should listen to her <laughs> you know imagine remixing imagine <laughs> you sitting in vc doing it all the time yakuza yeah, zero should have had some city pop oh yeah ah. i want to play mm, i was playing like a dragon ishin I got a sponsorship for it a while back, completed on stream day one, and then continued some off stream. And I never got to finish it. I got through some of it, and then my time just got sucked away. <sighs> I wanna, I wanna finish it. I wanna keep playing it, but I don't have time. It was really good though, it was really fun. I remember I used to listen to a lot of Nightcore remixes a decade ago. They were so popular. They were so fucking popular. Nightcore remixes, but I don't know. I just was like, it's just songs that I like, but faster. <laughs> you know, and some it depends on who's making the remix. Sometimes they actually do add like a lot to it. Other times it's just fast and slapped over a track, and I was like, Arr. Arr. I don't know. Love City Pop for the bass guitar parts. You should listen to jazz. You should listen to funk. You should listen to just anything from that era. Anything. I'm an unironic disco enjoyer. Okay, so on to the next two Yakuza games. That's hype. I know. I know. I'm so happy for her, man. I'm so happy. It was such a long process for her to figure out, like, if she was going to be um, doing the thing, you know, if she was going to be in the game, if she was going to be, like, a full NPC or, you know, they had, like, different... I, from what I understand, they had different levels of engagement. Like, if you won, you would get this. If you were third, you would get this. Something like that. So I'm just glad that she was able to, like, fully, fully be in there. I'm glad for her. I'm happy for her. J Jazz also fucks diff from American Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I think if you like a genre or you think you like a genre, try to listen to songs from that genre from everywhere because it just completely is different in different areas. Right? Italo Disco. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> it's not American Disco is completely different from like Euro Disco. <laughs> completely different. It's worth checking out. Very worth checking out, you know? And that's why even even pop music, even pop music, just pop music from every region is worth checking into because what's popular over there is not what's popular in the US. And I think a lot of people in the US are so used to our music being the most popular thing globally that they are, they forget that other stuff exists and is popular where it is, that people actually like it because Again, American music and American media is just, like, the strongest in the world. And they see so many people in other countries commenting on it, seeing it, you know, listening to it. So they just, like, their idea of what music is in other countries is very, like, oh, well, they probably listen to a lot of our stuff. And I'm like, they do, but things aren't as globalized as you think, you know? <laughs> Not as globalized. It's accessible, but people listen to whatever their environment kind of has them listening to, you know what I mean? So it's good to check out. Like, jazz isn't absolutely everywhere. Well, the thing is, jazz is everywhere. But what's typical to do with jazz in each region is different. It is different. So absolutely, absolutely, like, just kind of try to get into artists from different areas that, that are within the genre that you like. Metal, metal being another one. What the fuck is this? I just found out that Americans did not know that you can eat bread with butter, real or not. What? No, not real. Americans eat bread with butter all the fucking time. Do you know how much we love butter? Put on everything. <laughs> what? If anything, Americans don't really eat much bread without butter. That's not, a, that's not really a thing. 
<laughs> Where did you hear that? <laughs> Wisconsin is a state that is made of butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> Do I mention bagels? Hey, if you eat bagels with butter, you're fucked up. You should be eating them with cream cheese. But hey, I get whatever. If you like it, you like it. I still think you're fucked up for it, though. <laughs> with butter? Y'all forget about buttered bread. I know. I read that comment and I read it like two times in my head before I read it out loud. I was like. Now, I'm not blaming you for saying it. Just where did you hear that? <laughs> Where the fuck? I always, people in chat always, you know, I t tend to stream earlier and it's very much in like EU hours, EU friendly hours. I always get so many people saying things that, oh, Americans think this, that I'm like, what? What are you saying? Like that I've never heard before. <laughs> oh, all the time. Mm. It's so funny. Bagels with butter is for when you run out of cream cheese and have no money to buy more. <laughs> Yeah. It's like it's like a struggle meal, to be honest. You've got that one leftover bagel that's not quite bad yet, but it's not it's not good. And you're like, well, I have some butter in the fridge. <laughs> you just go. It's still good. If a bagel is good, it's good. And it with butter is still good. It's just it's not the same as cream cheese, you know? You can have both butter and cream cheese on bagels. I know you can, but I think it's it's gotta be it's gotta be cream cheese man it's gotta be can't imagine eating toast without butter yeah wait that sounds horrible yeah what the fuck sees five months already Giga. that sounds awful i just crapped my pants again oh welcome back thank you that's that's great i'm i'm happy for you Anyone else ate raw eggs, rice, and soy sauce because they weren't allowed to use their kitchen burners? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, uh, in the past was someone who ate several things that had raw egg in them. <laughs> because that's very, uh, it's more normal for certain people. <laughs> and then as I got older, all my incredibly highly Americanized friends uh, we're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Everything's like pasteurized and then and then eggs like have salmonella and I was like, well, I've never had a problem. So <laughs> raw egg is normal. Not so much in the US because of the way the eggs are treated. So there's pasteurized and there's unpasteurized and, and you know, yeah, right. That's a good way to say it. Uh, American raw eggs are more sussy than most. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, I never, <laughs> I never thought that was a problem. I just ate them anyway. <laughs> I never, I never had salmonella, and maybe it was luck of the draw. I don't know. I don't know. Never had an issue. <laughs> never did. Like I knew it was a danger. I knew it was a thing, but I was like, whatever. Yeah, the eggs, the eggs are not treated the same in the U.S. as they are treated in some other uh, places. Americans also can't handle unpasteurized milk. It's not that Americans can't handle it. It's that it, that's just not what's in source. But also there are plenty of stores where you can get it. So no, actually, there are a lot of places where you can get it nowadays. It's just whatever you want. Don't y'all have E. coli in your flour too? It's possible. You know what it is? Uh, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S., which is the the governing body that, like, checks over all the food, makes sure it's safe to eat, talks about what practices we need to do, etc. If there's even a small chance of something being in a food product, they'll make sure that everything gets labeled with, oh, it may have this, so please cook it or whatever. Even if the frequency of that thing happening is super low. So then people get the impression that, like, if you eat this thing raw, you will get this thing. No, it's just that there's a chance. So they put a warning on it and they advise that you cook it just in case. But it's not like, it's not like if you eat a raw egg, like, you're gonna get salmonella. You know? <laughs> now, is it possible? Absolutely, yes, because of the way they're treated. But, yeah, it's just that the U.S. is, like, really, really extra careful with, uh, like, content warnings, with food labeling warnings all of that so um it's really funny because then when friends come in from like the eu or like anywhere else and they visit they're like why is all of your food like tainted why does everything say don't eat this like this why oh and, <laughs> and they like 
<laughs> they like start crying and I'm like, it's just, it's just there just in case. It's fine. <laughs> it's just labeling. It's just labeling so you know about the, you know, the possibility. Like the California cancer warning. Yeah, you know, like almost literally everything can give you cancer if you're overexposed to it. Like almost everything practically in this world. California puts a warning on like everything. <laughs> that like it can give you cancer. <laughs> so when you go to California and you look at packaging, it's like, like everything says you can get cancer. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's so funny. Like how many mundane things say that on it. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> yeah, the packaging, existing, breathing the air. <laughs> yup, yup. Outdated food is actually safe for days. That's another thing that I hate. I hate that we do in the US. I hate it. The sell by dates and the use by dates and the this is okay by this date, all of those things are like so early, so early. They're like, you have to buy this and eat this within three days or it's bad. It's bad. When really that thing is like fine for like 10 days. And I'm like, oh, and they do it because if something isn't stored properly, if that person's fridge is not cold enough, right? Because they just have it turned up all the way fucking warm because they suck and they don't know how fridges work. You know, it could be a problem. So it's just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I went to Universal Studios and avoided when I saw that theme park <laughs> with the cancer warnings everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> the sell by days to cover the grocer just in case. Yeah, it's literally so that you can like not sue the grocer. If you eat something on day four and it wasn't stored well and it was your fault and it made you sick, like it's there, it's there to save the guy that sold it to you. <laughs> yep, it's just legal protection. Wait, I'm trying to. I'm trying to move this thing. There we go. Yep. It's just, it's just funny, man. Are we talking about food, cancer, or theme parks? All of them. <laughs> All of them combined. Yep. That's just, I don't know, man. It's funny. It's funny. It's real funny. It's just there legally to cover their asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no one wants to get sued because some idiot didn't store their food right. Or, you know, you know. Some companies do sell by dates based on when the product is best, not even that it's bad after. Yeah, a lot of them do. A lot of them do. Because people, the other thing, it's not just, it's not just from lawsuits. People will come back with something that smells slightly different than when it's 100% fresh. Now, it's not bad. It doesn't smell bad. It hasn't gone bad. It'll smell slightly different. And they'll bring it back to the store and go, this is expired. Um, this smells bad. Can I get a new one? Can I return this? And they do this to like grocery stores all the time. And it was becoming a big problem. <laughs> and they were like, we, we gotta, we gotta do something here. That was, that was another driver of that because people would just, <sighs> I don't know, milk, uh, milk is a great one. Milk gets old and the taste changes. It starts to turn. That doesn't mean it's bad yet. It doesn't mean it's going to cause you a health issue. Health issues are, are a, a bit past that. It's like a two steps down the line kind of thing, you know? But people would be like, oh, the milk is bad. And they'd like throw it out. What? Use it for something else. Maybe you don't want to drink it straight because you don't like the taste. Okay. There are things you can use it for. I don't know. I hate food waste. It makes me go crazy. <laughs> I can't. I can't with food waste. Once milk goes bad, you can make cheese. Yeah, literally. <laughs> what do people think cheese is? Huh? <laughs> what do you think cheese is? <laughs> Crazy? I don't know, man. I'm a, I'm a proponent of like, if I have something in the fridge and it is a little old, but I know it's not bad yet, I'm just gonna cook it for longer. I'll go and like slow cook it or something. So it's just sitting and simmering for a really long time to make sure it's nicely cooked through. If there was anything in there that would be bad, it is It is dead. It is so dead. So anytime there's like meat in the fridge, you know, that's what I do. That's what I do. Even if the smell starts to change, but I know it's not at the point where it's like that bad. It's just like started. I'm like, all right, we're just going to slow cook this shit. <laughs> and it's fine, man. It's fine. Nice try. I know cheese is just cheese. I'm not dumb. <laughs> It's that Giga funded by Big Cheese again. <laughs> again, man. When milk goes out glumpy, I don't use it. 
Well, ugh, yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's not really like milk anymore, dude. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, what is glumpy? <laughs> new word, new word. Brand new word invented in chat. <laughs> ew, dude. Ew, ew. Cheese comes in a can or plastic wrap. Ain't no milk in that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Most American thing I've ever heard. Yep. Oh my god. What the hell is glumpy? Glumpy? Ugh. I don't know. I'm gonna use that now. Clumpy? Yeah, but no, but, but it's like... Clumpy and gloopy? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Sounds like a mic word. It does. <laughs> you know? I have this streamer friend named Mike. And a while back, someone said something and the term big plumpies started to exist in his chat. And I can never stop thinking about the phrase big plumpies every time. Now, every time I play a game and there's some cute little thing and it's like got a little round body, I'm like, look, it's a big plumpy. And every time I say it, people are like, because <laughs> it just sounds horrible. <laughs> big plumpies. I just, I can't get it out of my head. I, when I see, now I do it when I see my cats just like laying on the ground. They're not even like, they're not fat. They're actually quite healthy, quite slim. But they lay down and you know, they just like lay on their side and they show their stomach in a certain way and they kind of do look round. Every time I see them, I'm like, look at big plumpies. And then I listen to myself and I'm like, why'd you have to say that? Why'd you have to say that? But I can't get it out of my brain. I can't. Yeah, the exposed fupa. Every cat is a fupa, even if they're slim. The plumpies. <laughs> Mike is a shill for big plumpy? Fuck, man. Oh my god. Is that what it is? Oh my god. What do they say when you mention non VTubers? Those are those are the flesh tubers. The fleshies. <laughs> it sounds so horrible. I got so used to saying it because someone someone said that in like 2020 they were like yeah flesh tubers and i was like hilarious great and everyone like completely ironically called them fleshies literally two months later everyone unironically was calling them fleshies and i was like you mean streamers <laughs> they're just streamers they're just streamers and youtubers it's fine <laughs> oh my god the fleshies <laughs> it sounds not not derogatory it sounds like basically like calling something a zombie like something we should be running from something we should be horrified of that's that's what it like sounds like to me you know <laughs> meat bags <laughs> we're all just sacks of meat anyway you know we're all just sacks of meat whatever favorite flesh tuber vinny <laughs> i should invite vinny to something i keep saying i will and then i don't know what to invite him to i'll invite him to something one of these days the fucking bone suits. Sometimes you just go get an x-ray just to check on the man inside, make sure he's okay. <laughs> just to see him and say hi. <laughs> I got an x-ray a while back. <laughs> and when I was looking at the x-ray, I like thought that to myself and I was like, I, I've been like, my brain's been internet poisoned completely since I started streaming. It's just, it's all over, dude. <laughs> it's all over. You know, it's bad when that's the first thought that comes to your head when you look at your own x-ray of your body, you're having health issues, you're getting every scan done, you look at it and you're like, there's the boy inside, and it's like, oh, fuck. Ooh. Ooh. Why the corn tag? No comment. You were a brain in a bone mech wearing meat armor. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, with a skin force field. I like that, though. I think it's cool. You know, the bones inside of you right now are, are wet. They're not brittle. They're quite flexible, in fact. Because they're moist right now. They're moist. Did you know that? You ever think about that? Stop? No. They're moist. You got moist bones in your body right now. All of them. Yep. Even you. You know why? What? Hold on. Ban that guy. 
moist plumpies. <laughs> no! No, no, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Tell us more about the horrors of the human condition, 2D anime girl. What would you like to know? You know, I... <sighs> Normally, we talk about a lot of really cursed things. And I said to myself, you know, maybe, maybe for the first week after debut, I'll like... I'll hold back, but you know, we've already talked about big corn and moist plumpies and you know, it's... People don't change is what I've realized. This, the moral of the story is that people do not change. <laughs> don't hold back. <laughs> yeah, I really don't need to filter myself at all. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's just like my humor gets really crude sometimes and occasionally, like the stuff I said today is not that bad. Occasionally I say something and I'm like, are they eating Big right now? Big Plumpy is my SoundCloud rapper name. <laughs> Big Moist Plumpy? Ooh. Disgusting. Chat, did you know it's September? Now is the time to get that foosball yeah. table for the mod lobby. It is September. So if you'd like to support, this is the only month where you can support, but you pay less, but I get the same amount. Ooh. Yeah. It's lovely. I wish they did that uh, every month. Wouldn't that be cool? Imagine. Do it every month. Wouldn't that be so crazy? How about that? What is great is that they're increasing the split for not everyone, but everyone who qualifies next month, and I will qualify, so I'm like, oof. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, man. Ooh. Times is hard, and I have medical bills, okay? I have so many. <laughs> Even with my insurance, I got, I got shit to pay, so... <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. Did you know 98% of the tier 3 six month sub goes straight to Giga? That's true. That's true. Yep. What cut do you get for six month tier 3? It is as a, as said up top. I crunch the numbers and I get 98% of the cut. Insane. Hi, Pian. Now that we got the new chatters warmed up, Welcome. we can talk about shit might examinations. <laughs> is it is it too early to start talking about shit might? Chat, don't scare them away. Don't scare them away. Mm -mm. Don't do it. <laughs> Talk about perineum sunning. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What's the most amount of viewers did you have at the same time? Well, probably during debut. I don't know. We don't talk about viewers here because that's not a thing to worry about. I just stream what I want. And if you want to show up, I appreciate it. But when I stream, I turn the thing off so I can't even see it. <laughs> the, the little stream dashboard has like all of your numbers lined up and you can click on all of them and then it just shows a little dash instead of a number. I just turn them all off. The only thing I have up is the session, how long I've been streaming. <laughs> I'm just like, eh. Who cares? Because what are you going to do? What are you going to do if, if the number is high or low? Are you going to change your personality? Like there's no actionable item. It's just there for you to maybe get stressed if something happened, right? <laughs> like, like why? <laughs> it's literally without purpose, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will change my personality in instantly. I need to be funnier. <laughs> no, no, no. Turn it off and just chill. What are you doing today? Okay, so my plan for today was to play a medieval. However, I'm a little woozy from the blood I had drawn earlier. So I'm wondering if I should swap it and just do a medieval Friday. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Do you guys like raise your hand, hand emoji, if you were particularly here for a medieval and if I don't play it, you will cry. You'll be very upset. It's okay to say that. <laughs> like, let me know if that was the case. But if you're like, cool with it, then let me go with it. Who? A medieval? It's a boomer shooter. No, they're like two hands. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Cause it's, it's like, it's a boomer shooter. It's a little fast paced. There's a lot of movement. And the thing is you can turn this off, but I think for the sake of it feeling classic, you shouldn't. There's like a lot of head bobbing as you move. And then like, as you, as you strafe the screen, like bobs and weaves with you, you know? And I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, if I'm, if I'm mildly woozy and I can game, if I'm playing a game with all of the 
bobbing and shit, I think. I think I might get sick. I think I might get motion sick from it. <laughs> so that was my that was my thought on that. I was like, maybe, maybe I'll save that for um for Friday. But I mean you you regain your blood volume in what, like six hours, pretty much? Your your bone marrow goes hard, so by the end of tonight I should be like okay. But I took a I took a nap midday as well, so I'm like Ugh. I mean, when your own physical head bobs, it's the screen, it's the screen. So when you walk forward, there's like like a simulated head bob, like the whole screen bobs up and down as if you are taking a step and the, your head is moving. It's that, the, the way a lot of old shooters are. And I, I think I can turn it off, but I usually play boomer shooters with that on, to be honest. It's just today with the blood draw, I'm like, mm, might be a bad cocktail for motion sickness, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll play it Friday because I was planning to continue it Friday anyway or do a different game Friday, so I'll just swap them. How are you on iron and electrolytes? I'm fine, I'm fine. I made sure that um as soon as I got home I had food, I had a, a drink in the car. I had I had gamer subs, actually. Actually, which you can get with my code. Oh, you can you don't have to delete um you don't have to time out Mika's fries, sorry. <laughs> Mika's fries gets a pass. You can untime out Mika's fries. That's a standard Mika viewer and we just talk that way. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right, Mud. It's all good. But. But. Um, I was thinking about what games I, I could play. I was thinking about it. Also, someone said... Someone said, why did you get blood drawn, right? But I was scrolling and like another message like hit the same exact line as I was scrolling and it I've read it in my head as, are you getting your blood drawn on stream? And I was like, but no, it's a separate message. I'm just a crazy person because it looked like that when I was scrolling. I was like, I was like, what is that question? And then I found it and I was like, oh no, I just hallucinated that. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I'm just hallucinating. Noted. Um, well, I have a few, uh, I have a few potential games. Answer the question. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it might be TOS. Actually, would it be TOS? It's not, it's not gore. Is, is blood like, is blood in a medical sense gore? Does it count because it's medical? I actually, I wonder. Could I, if I, if I held a blood drive and I had a stream going while, and people were sitting there talking while getting their blood drawn, it'd be fine, right? As a VTuber, you would be showing it. Yeah, but what if I did as like a charity thing or something? Educational? I would think it's fine. Blood and gore, not blood or gore. Right, 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 true. I wonder. Something I always wanted to do was to like legitimately set up a blood drive somewhere and then... <laughs> and then like stream it. Like stream people getting their blood drawn. And maybe as they get their blood drawn, I am as a VTuber on an iPad in the room talking to them. <laughs> would that be crazy? I would love to... While people are like, Ooh, getting like a needle in their arm. I'm like, so what do you do? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? I kind of want to do it. A plasma drive. I want to do that. I talked about that a bit ago. I, I want to do that. But plasma donation takes a longer time because they are taking the blood out and they're, they're separating your blood into just plasma and everything else. And then they take the plasma and put the rest back into you. So it's like, it's like an hour and a half of you sitting there getting that drawn. So I'm like, I would love to do that. 40 minutes where you go, it can, it can be up to an hour and a half. Yeah. So I'm like, is that doable? <laughs> is that doable? I don't know. We'll see if it's doable. I would do that because I think it's, you know, highly in demand, but uh, I think just a standard uh, blood drive would be better because it's at least a little quicker and they just like set people up next to each other and they're like here's a cookie sit down and get your blood drawn you know follow your heart <laughs> it sounds relaxing really honestly it'd be kind of nice it'd be kind of nice heard plasma donations is very cold i i haven't done it i've i've done I've had my blood drawn a lot of the time, or a lot of time, a lot of times, but my, uh, I'm small. <laughs> I'm small. I don't have a lot of blood volume. I don't like weigh a ton, so, um, I can't really, I can't really donate my blood. I'm not allowed. I don't know what the threshold actually is. 
I don't know if the threshold is at like a, a spot that I could reach easily or if I'd have to like get yoked and shredded. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What is it? How 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 heavy are you supposed to be? Like what what's the weight? Cuz usually they can they can figure out your blood volume by your weight, right? I don't know. I don't know. Feels cold because blood's being drawn, separated, and then put back in. It's less warm after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt the feeling of like cold, cold IV from all of the other like medical stuff I've done. Sitting there with an IV drip and then um, certain things that they'll throw in you are like very cold feeling. I've, oof, yeah. I felt that. That feeling is funny. And they had me, uh, they had me in a hospital bed. They had the IV in my hand. It was, it was one of those ones at the back of your hand. And they were putting, um, you know, cold whatever in there. And then they had me in this hospital gown that had these like, they had these plastic bags inside of them. Or not plastic, they were like a uh, meshy fabric that could kind of hold air and slowly leak it out. And they were just pumping warm air into it. So I was literally wearing a gown that was getting filled with warm air. And I was like, ooh, I was so cozy. <laughs> it was so nice. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it says 110 pounds for plasma. Oh, yeah, no, I can't do that. I usually donate 700 milliliters of plasma when I'm under 150 pounds, but when over by a little, I donate 830 milliliters. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's a big difference. Must have felt glumpy. <laughs> Stop saying glumpy, guys. <laughs> chat, chat, we got to let go of the word glumpy, okay? The, the word glumpy's got to go. <laughs> we're not, we're not attaching ourselves to that one. No, it's not going to be chat meta. <laughs> Glumpy meta now. I don't like that word. <laughs> Glumpy. Hi, Ice. Did you remember your password? We can't anymore. <laughs> Why did glumpers rise up? No, no. Ooh. We we don't need to keep that word. We don't need to keep it. We can we can get rid of that one. Plasma and milk are both glumpy. Can you? Here you go. Did you think I wouldn't see this? Damn, girl, those glumpies got me acting unwise. I, I, okay. Yes, but I'm gonna forget in two days. Yeah. Be shame if I were to add that to the block terms list. Dude, our block terms list is like five words. And it's all like really bad shit. Could you imagine like a bunch of horrible words and then like glumpy? <laughs> That's the sixth word. <laughs> Fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> Rosalind, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Love is still, what? Love is banned? No, love, love has never been banned. No. There was someone who said that in my chat a long while ago. They were like, why is the word love banned in your chat? And I was like, it's never been. I don't know where that comes from. I've like joked, I've joked so many times, like a billion times about banning like really mundane words and then like running shield mode so that it like bans everyone who said that mundane word. <laughs> But no, I've never banned anything that wasn't like a horrible phrase that cannot be said. <laughs> no. Oh, so your first name is Gigan, last name is Glumpy? Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't have a last name. Leave! <laughs> Love it when you call me Big Glumpy! <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. <sighs> Glumpers1984. Literally 1984. I can't believe it. This VTuber censors the glumpers yet again. <laughs> they call me Big Glumps. New account name. Hey, if any of you are not particularly attached to your Twitch name, you know you can just change it any time, right? You know you can just change it and then it's just a 60 day waiting period before you can change it again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, okay? All right. The game glumps. <laughs> gifted a tier one sub to Glumpy. They have given 46 Someone's name is Glumpy on Twitch? Are they a streamer? Processor, thank you for gifting us up. I don't think they are. There's some guy named Glumpy. Account created 2020. Are you a streamer? Hold on, I'm looking at him. Glump the Glumpy. No, he's not even a streamer. It's just some random guy. He doesn't know what he has. Will he ever value this the way he should? I don't know. What does Glumpy even mean? I don't even know! 
I've got no clue. <laughs> no clue. I could literally change my name to Glumpy Italian if I wanted to. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Sell the account. <gasps> Clumpy. Get out of my ears. Get out of my head. Ah! Get out. Get out. Hi, Zorin. Hi, Zorin. Guys, did you know uh, when the credits were rolling during debut and there was someone announcing what the next program was? Did you guys know that that was Zorin? <laughs> that was Zorin. Did you recognize him? I was, I was, I couldn't, chat was moving so fast. I could not see if anyone like could see it. Not like this. <laughs> Celebrity in chat, celebrity in chat. <laughs> yeah, it was Zorin. Yup. And then some the of the of other stuff. Unwilling to talk or be sociable, sulky, <laughs> morose. Glumpy. You know that's not what chat thinks though. Okay. <laughs> you know that's not chat's impression of that word. You know. No, but I have I have a voiceover for some other people sitting on the side for whenever I decide to revisit the lore and like fix it up so it's showable. We got a uh, we got some other celebrities in the in the VO. One of them being Cabal. <laughs> I'm really excited. We got Cab though. I do need a couple extra little voices. I'll have to like hit some people up. I just need like some some little guys. Some little guys. I just need a couple people just being like wee wahoo yay ha ha yay. So. I'll hit up friends for it. I'll figure it out. Can we change our community name? No. No. Not allowed. <laughs> no. Your shit mites are looking glumpy. Better take care of that. Stop. Stop with the glumpy. It... Anyway. Hi, Snuffy. Welcome. Nothing's happening here. We're just having a nice chat about words. We're having a great time in this stream. Um, and, you know, chat is only saying things that I like today. It's really cool. It's been really great. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Raiders, what, is, is Christmas your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holiday? Actually, everyone. Everyone here, what's your favorite holiday? I think uh, two days ago. When was it? Whatever day it was. Uh, I was asked what my favorite holiday was. And I said Thanksgiving. And a bunch of people were like, huh? So many of you saying Halloween. Oh, Jesus day. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Upstream was good though. I hope it was lovely. Glump day? Fuck off. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas. July 4th. Okay. It depends on what you, your friends, your family, your neighborhood, everything, whatever does. Your birthday is your favorite? Really? Some people, some areas go so hard for 4th of July that it is absolutely contender for like best holiday. It just depends on like your exact community, you know, <laughs> American day. <laughs> I personally like Thanksgiving the most and then Halloween and Christmas are kind of tied or I guess Halloween maybe is tied for number one or Christmas. I don't know the three of them. Basically, once October starts, I am like happy until mid January. Everything from October through mid-January, like nothing you can do can get me down because I'm like, well, it's going to be Thanksgiving soon. <laughs> well, it's going to be Christmas soon. <laughs> you know, and it's just the best. It's just the best time ever. And then we get to January and I have to take the decorations down and I'm walking around. It's just winter and I'm like, Argh. and then, and I love winter, but like, you know, you just had all the lights put up everywhere, everywhere you go and then they're gone all of a sudden and it looks empty and weird. And then... February shows up and like everyone's freaking the fuck out because they have either tests or like work stuff is always happening. Um, everything's pink because of Valentine's Day, but I, I don't like the color pink that much. I don't mind seeing it here and there, but like I don't like it when it's like literally everywhere. I think it's too much. It's best in small like bits as an accent, but then they literally make everything pink and I'm like, I, I can't be here. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Oh my god, other people. I don't want it on me. <laughs> Mouse and shambles. <laughs> I've already told her. I'm like, sorry. It's my least favorite color. Cheer 100. Whatever it is. <laughs> Shut up. Get out. Get out of my head. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. So you're a hater? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Barbie, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's so much. I don't hate the color, like, when it's balanced with other things. But it's just one of those colors that when everything is that, I'm like, Ugh, stop. You'll never get a Pepto sponsor with that attitude. <laughs> I know. Fuck, man. It's ruined. It's ruined. But yeah, it's just February. Everything's pink. And I'm like, Rah. at least a lot of things are red and that balances it out, I guess. I guess. And then March comes along. And you know what happens in March? It starts to get slightly warmer again. And bugs start existing again. And I don't like that. I don't like that. The bugs start coming out. And they're like, oh, huh, yippee, I'm gonna, oh, oh, we're gonna start, you know, maybe maybe a couple flowers are gonna happen. And I start seeing them fly around and I'm like, go back in the ground. <laughs> I get so mad. Get out of here. Yeah, the mosquitoes. That's the thing. The mosquitoes come back like first, I feel like. I keep seeing them. Yeah, and the sun shows up. Yeah, the days get longer. Ugh. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that at all. And it just, it just, it's not even that warm. Like, March is kind of nice weather-wise, but still. Surely 60 days mm. will go by quickly, Clueless. <laughs> Thanks for the name change, King Glumpers. <laughs> what the fuck were you before? <laughs> Wait, who were you? Your regular chatter, who were you? <laughs> fuck. Oh, are we calling ourselves Smile. <laughs> My god. Maybe you are, I don't know. Oh, Glumpy Black Sheep. Thank you for the 500 bits. That's great, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. Why are there two of you? Stop, stop, two is enough, two is enough. Glumpoids will write, no, no, you can't, don't do Glumpoids, we're, we're Gigoids, you can't do that. No, you can't, you can't do the Oids thing. No. Glumpies if you want, Glumpers, whatever, but not Glumpoids, anything, anything else. No. Two months surely won't be too long for the joke. Oh. Have you been on twitch.tv? <laughs> With the glumpoids? Oh, she, yeah. Have you guys been on Twitch? Like, and had people say a joke once? And then you come back to that chat five months later and they're still saying that joke? You know, you know, two months is not long enough, okay? Not long enough. Twitch chat is like the worst at beating a dead horse. <laughs> the worst in in any place I've ever been. Ever. It's so <laughs> so bad. Uh, uh. Anything you say, you say something and you laugh after it for two seconds, you go like Word, ha 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 ha. And then everyone was like, oh, yeah, me too. Word, ha, huh? the word, ha, huh? word. And then for the next five months, it's all you hear. It's all I hear. It's just so bad. I don't know, man. <laughs> I hate it. Sounds like sus. Sus has practical use though. It is practical use and it was paired with like a game. It was a thing set in a game, so I'm like, eh, that's not the worst one. Yeah, like that balls. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't regret making sure that I had a chat widget where it would uh, take any emotes you do. And if you have an emote only message, it makes it huge. <laughs> do you see that? Do you see it? Look at it. I don't regret it at all. <laughs> it's great. It's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. Something that I saw that was really cool, actually, one of my friends, Prawler. Prawler did my background for that newer office scene that I, like, filmed a lot of stuff in. That scene, he made his own chat widget where when someone types in all caps, the little message box over there, like, it has a like, screen shake on it. It shakes. It just goes like, Arr! if they type in all caps. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I was thinking about asking him about it. I don't know if he's willing to share the code base with me, but I was like, hey, <laughs> I might ask. I think that's really funny. I think it's funny. I don't know. I don't know. I was losing my mind the whole time about the emote size. No, that's purposeful. That's purposeful. If you do any message that doesn't have words, it's emotes only. That includes 7TV and everything else. Makes it huge. 
I think it's cuter that way. <gasps> did you guys see the new emotes, by the way? That's something I've realized earlier today that I did not like sit and talk about or mention during the debut. But I added a bunch of new emotes thanks to Minky, the lovely Minky. But I wanted to make special mention. Yeah, we, we replaced two of the animated emotes. They're going to be, uh, or they are in 7TV, the old ones. So you could still use them. You still use them. We have Cheer and Nopers now. Because <laughs> I think Nodders is my most used emote in this chat and outside of chat, outside of the one that we use for the raid message. It is it is the most used. So I was like, you know what? I think, I think adding a little Nopers makes sense. And honestly, not that many people have like a unique Nopers emote it's like always if they have it on beach tv it's there or not so cheer 100 cheer 100 now mm -hmm. all is good with the world <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for the bits thank you i appreciate it nothing beats nodders it's so good it's so good hi kimimi yeah no we we added that in uh what, what were the new ones i don't even remember off the top of my head but we added quite a few in there in this outfit <laughs> let me look does it put them in order of when I added them? I wonder. In my little menu. Oh, yeah, we have... So, Clench was replaced with just this outfit. So, we still have me doing the little fist, like the one from Arthur. <laughs> you know the meme where someone says something and then someone replies with, like, Arthur clenching his fist. And it's just a close-up on his fist. Yeah, we have Giga Clench. Got a... <laughs> we had that before, but it got replaced with this outfit. So, there's that one. Um... What else was new? Oh, Giga Flush. Flush. That one I've been using so much in other chats. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love that emo. That one's added in. Oh, we have Huh? We have Giga Huh? I added that one because we didn't have anything to express confusion. There was like nothing, nothing that worked. It's cute. I wasn't sure if I should ask Minky to change the color of the little uh, question marks. Maybe? I kind of like them as this, though. They have a little white outline so I could see them. But we'll see. Then we got, oh, I love, we have Giga Hype. <laughs> I really like how that one came out. We have Giga Hype. It's just got like the little noodle arms going up. <laughs> you like that? I like that. Isn't that cute? I already said no, Purs. We got that one. Ah, oh, we have PN. You got PN. Here. Oh, here's. I found my list. I found my list. You got PN. It's so good. It's like, it's like, you know, that newer emoji that they added a while back that everyone started using where it's like smiling while holding back tears emoji. That one. Oh, I was like, I need that. I need that. That is probably one of my most used emotes on, on Twitter. So, you got PN. I have a, uh, oh, for my tier three subs only. We have a different version of Giga Prey. It's me, but I'm wearing a cultist hood. That's tier three only. <laughs> you still have normal Giga Prey. If you're not tier three subbed, you still have that one. But the special one with the hood, that's for you guys. <laughs> I like that one. Biggest prize, thank you. Thank you for the two months, thank you. Um. Oh, Giga Stare. We added Giga Stare, which I've been using a lot too. It's just, it's just, it's the best. The blank face. <laughs> oh, get it. <laughs> I like it because it looks like a face that I drew myself. <laughs> you like that one? Me too. I love it. And then we have two more, two more. Giga Think. Giga Think, it's me with the little thinky hand. You know, the little thinker's hand. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> what makes it a thinky hand? The little, you know, you're holding your chin kind of hand. And then, uh, last one is Giga Unity. And I wasn't sure if you guys would, like, recognize what it is if you were new. But the Unity emote is, is the three faction mascots' arms together. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> you see it? It's the Gen 2 mascots' arms. All linked in a, in a little triangle <laughs> i like it i like it but yeah them's the new emotes i wanted to mention it because i realized i didn't do it before i didn't say anything about it people just started using some of them but i was like did they see it but yeah them's the new ones yeah we also <laughs> we also have 
there is also an emote of the mascots all making out, but then, you know. I figured maybe if you wanted a more wholesome version, you could use the Unity emote. But I think, um, yeah, yes, yeah, safe for work, not safe for work version. <laughs> it just depends on what level of appreciation you want to show your friends in the chat, right? Right? It's just, it's just a different, a different level, I would say. Lord Berserker, thank you for the raid. What's more wholesome than smooching the homies? Okay, if you, do you see how wide their mouths are open though? Do you see it? Do you see it? Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, thank you for the raid. Um, I wanted to pull up some games that we could vote on what I play today. Let me get my list up. Let me get my list. My list here. There were a few. Ah, okay. So, so I don't want to play anything that has like crazy movement today or is like an FPS because again, I'm like feeling a bit woozy. Instead, we'll do a medieval on Friday. Definitely. I was thinking for Friday that I would do maybe a YouTube stream, but I think I'm going to move that to next week. I'm just going to keep it on Twitch this week. And then next week I'll start back up. I used to do my uh, like weekly YouTube streams where I would just kind of do extra content. I wouldn't chat at first. We'd just go straight into a game and play something. Um, and it was just anything I didn't want to do on main. I think I'll start that up again next week. Because I know I know I like skipped like I did like half the number this past month because I was busy. But yeah. I'm going to do that uh, for this week, though. It's all going to be Twitch. So I wanted to play either. <laughs> okay. Either Super Liminal or The Looker. Super Liminal or The Looker. Both things that'll be interesting, but don't have like crazy movement that'll make me feel like I'm dying. Um, so let me... Uh, there's my poll. Okay. Which game? I have not played Super Liminal ever. I have played The Looker, but it's been so long that I do not remember how to do any of the individual puzzles or anything like that. So I figured that one would be fun to revisit. It's been so long. I actually really want to replay The Witness. Um, I opened it today and I realized that um, it, it makes that game makes me motion sick because I had my FOV like like so fucked in there so i have to test it a bunch and i have to like adjust the fov <laughs> yeah both good options i both look really cool yeah looker i've done before but again it's been so long um and then super liminal i've never 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 played the default fov is fucked i realized i had it i opened my options i, I was testing it earlier today in the witness i opened options my fov was set to like 70. <laughs> i was like what I was like, no wonder I, f I turn and I'm like, ugh, 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 like throwing up on the carpet. <laughs> you know, if you've played Looker before, then you probably already know the jokes. Yeah, but it's it's for everyone, you know. But yeah, so I, uh, the witness got me fucked up. One of my most favorite games, though, and I, I played it so long ago that I figured it'd be good to bring back um, at some point. Because I love puzzle based stuff. I love like card games and things, you know. I'm gonna bring a lot of that kind of stuff back. Super Liminal 1, ooh. Okay, okay, we'll do the looker another time. Super Liminal it is. Let me make sure I have it downloaded. If I don't, I have like the fastest internet in the world, so that'll be fine. 14 gigs, that's nothing. Install. Super Liminal it is. I've seen, um tiny clips of other people playing this, but I've tried my absolute best to not watch any streams of it, so I don't see how to do any puzzles. I don't see any, like, I don't know if there is story, but, like, eh, nothing, nothing. All I've seen is people, like, dragging objects around and how it, like, changes the object size based off of what it looks like in your perspective compared to the room. That's, I understand that that's part of the game, and that is all I know. That's all I know, so it'll be completely fresh for me. 100%. And don't forget, guys, speaking of getting my, uh, being woozy from my blood being drawn, you know what's saving me right now? My gamer subs. <laughs> you want to hear me open my shaker cup? <laughs> yeah. 
you hear that? Wow. Woo. Wahoo. Yeah, adult sippy cup. <laughs> exactly. Wow, is there a code we could use? Yes, there is. Wait, do I still have the image? <laughs> do I still have? Oh, I don't know if I still have the image. Do you guys remember my really cool, really great advertisement? Remember my, uh, advertisement that I made? <laughs> I don't know if I have it. Let's see. Oh, that was the sound of my game downloading. I know it's on this other scene here, here. I can show you. We'll, we'll go over here. We'll go to the old office. Just, 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 just for the ad. Ready? Sorry if the chat's off. Ooh, I'm a thirsty little flower. You have to water me. You have to use your gamer subs. <laughs> use code Giga for... T I think it might be 20% at certain times. But for 8% off. Wow. Anyway. Let's go back to the... The lounge. <laughs> yeah, that's my um really official... Gamersup's ad that they were totally cool with me using. And, uh, and that, you know what? If they don't complain, they don't complain. So here we are. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. It's the best. I've been, I've been genuinely drinking it because, um, a lot of other caffeinated stuff is just highly acidic and kills me. So. I don't know. It just replaced, uh, replaced other stuff. Which cup are you using? I am using, uh, which one am I using right now? Generic waifu cup that I don't know the name of. Because <laughs> they sent me a million sample cups. I have the Nyan and Aethel cups. I have the Heavenly Father one. Uh, and then I have like... <laughs> they sent me like five like generic character ones. And I was like... Can you s genuinely... I was like, thank you so much for sending me so much stuff. But can you stop sending me so many cups? I'm not going to use all these. There's too many. Like, damn. Like, what... <laughs> And they were like, okay. But then every time they get a new creator cup, they're like, do you want this one? I'm like, stop. If it's not my friend, don't send it to me. I'm going crazy. I'm just like, I'm just like collecting them. And I'm like, I, I'm not going to use them. They're just going to sit there. And I'm, I'm a minimalist. I don't like owning a lot of stuff. I like getting rid of stuff whenever possible. Owning the fewest unique things in my home, you know? So I just, I, I want to own like three of these Max. <laughs> and I'll just wash them. You, you know, you could just wash your, your cups and reuse them. It's all right. You have a cinder cup? No. Nope. I've got Nyan, yeah, Aethel, Heavenly, and like one other friend's greater cup. I can't remember. And uh, and then some generic ones. That's all I got. That's all I got. They aren't one use? <gasps> no fucking way. I'm gonna, um, we were talking about it and they were like, yeah, if things go well, people use the code, whatever, you know, we'll make sure that you have a a cup as well, so that will be happening at some point, maybe. We shall see. And if it happens, I will tell you. I will tell you immediately. I'm the same way, except with books. I really love books. That's, yeah, <laughs> me too. That's the one thing that I like actually collect, collect, is I have a bookshelf with a whole bunch of books and then um, an area with a bunch of CDs as well. A bunch of like albums. Those are the two things, the two things that I actually have excess of, but I don't have, I don't have a shit ton. It's like one big rectangular bookshelf filled with those two things. And, um, and then also on there are a couple of things. Like I have a few, a few figures. I have like three armored core, armored cores that I built. And I have a couple of like little monster hunter figurines and things. And it's not many, but Everything that I own that's like merch e or books or whatever fits on that shelf. And if I get more than fits on that shelf, I have to get rid of something. I don't allow it to like expand out of that shelf. You know what I mean? Hi, Joel. How are you? How are you? I went and bought physical copies of every ebook I had. And holy hell, my bookshelves are struggling. Yeah, I, I only allow myself to buy a book if I really like it. And I actually think I want to reread it. If it's, if it's that important to me or formative or something that I really want to own it because I'm going to go back to it, then I'll own it. Yes, but I don't, 
buy a book for my first time reading through it almost ever. I will do, I do have a uh, Kindle and that's how I'll, do, you know, that you're still buying it technically, but it's digital. Um, I'll, I'll still buy books on there and I'll just go to the library. I can literally just like go to the library really easily anytime if I want. It's very simple for me. So, you know, I always do that first. And then if I like it that much, like that much, then I'll buy it, you know? But if I don't think I'm going to reread it, eh. Mickey in the background, you see her? <laughs> you see her? She's in two spots, actually, Joel. She's on, do you see the skull on the left side there below the pile of skulls? Do you see the little thing on top of the skull? You can see it when certain chat messages move. It's right there, right there. That's Mickey on the skull. You cut me out of that picture that's fucked up. You're not in this picture, Joel. That's literally a picture of just me and Minky. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? The same artist I had them draw us three. Yes, but that's a different picture. <laughs> it's not wide enough to put a picture of all of us. You're pointing at me in that picture, I'm pretty sure. Joel, not everything's about you. Do you want me to find the picture to show you? You're literally not in that one. <laughs> You're literally not in it. <sighs> Do I have to find it? I don't even know where it is. Hold on. Joel, okay, guys. It was the never speak to me or my child again. Okay, look at what Joel just said. He just said, I swear to God, I'm not brain dead. It was me you were point to, to, pointing to in the picture. Look at this. Joel, what the fuck do you mean you're in the picture? What? <laughs> Did you imagine that? Did it come to you in a dream? It's literally, it's literally like an outline of a dude. <laughs> Mandela effect. I know, I know. It's literally just... <laughs> That's you? Oh my god. That's me and Minky. <laughs> oh my god. Joel, Joel, you're losing it. You're completely losing it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's play a video game. <laughs> Holy fuck, Joel. It's all over for you. He's too far gone, man. He's too far gone. The voices in his head are getting louder. He's seeing things. Oh, sorry if it lags for a second. My um, super liminal's opening, but my main monitor just went to like, like 720. Let me fix these video settings. Oof. Graphic settings. Hi. Uh... Gameplay settings. Resolution. 1440. Oh, there it goes. So much better. FOV at 70 degrees. No. Turning that up to 90. Dude. Like, 70 fucks me up. Why are all the puzzle games, like, starting off with, like, 70 degree FOV? What? Why do they all have that in common? There's multiplayer in this game? It says new multiplayer. Huh? There... What, what the hell? There's a level editor in this game? No way. I'll show the game in a second. I'm just like adjusting some settings, but it says multiplayer. <laughs> what? What do you even do with other people in this in this game? You can't play below 100 FOV. In most games, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I just I, for this one, I'm just setting it to 100 because that's the highest. It only goes between 70 and 100, which I think I think is a little fucked up. I think that's a little fucked up. All right, super liminal. Done. BGM off. No BGM. Okay, and then let's go over here. Let's go over here. And then let's do one of one of one of these. Where's my game capture? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Joel. Like how how would you play multiplayer in this game? What would that look like? What would that be? So curious, see? 
It's I opened the game and it said new or multiplayer. <laughs> What is that? Have you ever read Percy Jackson and the Olympians? Yeah, of course, of course. Absolutely. I'm a fan of Isaac Asimov novels. Uh, one of my favorite books ever is The Divine Comedy, though I don't expect everyone to want to read that. Um, and I like Terry Pratchett novels and... Um, um, I like things that R.A. Salvatore wrote. I think in another, in another life I would be an R.A. Salvatore fanboy. He's a nice guy. Um, his writing's a little corny at times, but I enjoy him. Yeah, I think those are like my top. Terry Goodkind is another author I really like. I feel like fantasy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Those are the ones off the top of my head when people are like, oh, what books do you like? Those are the ones I think of immediately. <gasps> oh, Brandon Sanderson. I really like Brandon Sanderson's writing. He actually um, hosts some, if you're interested in writing, genuinely, you want to learn about it, whether you want to do it or you just want to like hear someone talk about it. Brandon Sanderson has run some really, really good lectures on it and he's made them like publicly available. You can like, I'm pretty sure you can just find them on YouTube if you're ever interested in, in writing, in creative writing. Um, yeah, he's got, he's got like, he just, he just taught some classes and just like made the lectures public. And he was like, here you go. All my friends who went to prison love Terry Goodkind. <laughs> no exposing me. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, no. Never liked Goodkind all that much. I felt like he reused the same plot a lot. I didn't mind if it was something that I felt like was likely to happen again or likely to be repeatable. If someone uses the same plot again and it's something that like would never happen that many times, it bothers me. But if people write like really similar characters because there are a lot of people in the world like that or something, you know, or a plot line that happens because that sort of thing happens often. I, okay, I don't know. I, I don't feel too bothered by it, but I get it. I'm not going to say your opinion's wrong. It's just like, that's how I feel on it, you know? I get you, but okay, let's play Super Liminal. Um, apparently this goes up to four players is what people were saying, so I'll... We could take a look at that at some point and figure out what that's about. I don't know how long this game Are is. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? No. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? No. Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? No. At the Pierce Institute, okay. our patent pending somnosculpt technology patent. provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. He said patent, it said patent. Located okay, right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. University? Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. At the university, we do patents. He's got one of them accents. Oh, verse, why do you use a hype chat? No! <laughs> Thank you for the shmoneys. Why a hype chat? I hate hype chats. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ban that guy. <laughs> no. Use the stream elements dono link. But if you really want to pin a message, you can. Oh, I just, okay. I set the FOV to 100. Is this making you feel uh, like dying? Because it might be making me feel like dying. Hold on. Maybe I do want to make it lower. What does it look like on 70? I'll put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Okay. I think the FOV is really important for this game to work the need it, the, the way it needs to work. Terms of service? I just signed that. It was a hand symbol, it wasn't a signature symbol. I didn't, what does it even say? Okay, I just signed the TOS, I guess. I don't like that. Was I just forced into a signature? All right. Well, mistake number one. We're off to a great start. Okay, we're in a room. A rubber room. Perception is reality. Grab. Right, right, right. So from what I understand, from what I understand, uh, uh, I could, I could like, go like this and drop it in that room. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then if I go like this, let's make it fucking huge. Now no one can ever go back. Yeah, okay. 
So it's dropping it literally where I'm looking and then at the size compared to what I'm looking at that it looks to be to me. So if it looks like it's this big on the wall, if I dropped it, it'll drop against the wall like that. If I drop it against this wall, it'll be tiny. Oh! oh. Little baby. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Ugh. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I do this, it's not locked. Oh, I get how they, like, mechanically did this. They made it so that it clips through all things and is still visible to you. And then when you do this, it just attaches to that nearest, like, thing. Oh, it's gone. Okay. <gasps> I can jump. They taught me how to jump. I get it. Yeah, like part of the HUD, right? Service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. They're watching This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid oh. induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. I see. All right. Hold right click to rotate. Is it while I'm... Ah! Oh, okay. So it's only horizontal. <laughs> let you stay tiny okay b zero c two zero eight c oh oh no it has all these things they're just facing the same direction okay <laughs> what do they want me to do i'm gonna make everything smaller okay so they've we've got numbers and letters it's on the top. Eight is on the top. A is on the bottom. We have a chessboard. <gasps> oh, I could play chess. I could play chess with the pieces. Play chess with the pieces. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, so cute. Okay, okay. I'm understanding it. I am I am getting it. Oh, I could have left that right where that was, basically. I need one to jump. Well, it doesn't matter which, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm grasping it. No objects beyond this point at all times. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <gasps> These are not mirrors. Huh? <gasps> I'm a vampire. Vampire real. I can't grab it through there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to grab it like that. Nice. Nice. Too easy. Oh. 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 So I want to walk up to it. That should be good enough, right? Yeah. All right. Uh. Confirmed. You can move freely, what interact the fuck with is this? surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note it's a PNG. that I have a standard orientation <laughs> protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. Paint. I do not care. Oh, that's cool. That's fine. Me neither. I have a paint bucket. What's the point of the paint bucket? <gasps> Big paint bucket. Can I, can I end my own life? Damn it. Well, it is the dream world, you know? Okay. Apparently, I can't die in this game, so I'm afraid of nothing. <laughs> a piece? A button. Take the piece. Place it on the button. <laughs> okay, okay. What the hell is this? We'll right click to rotate. Yeah. 
but I can't rotate it up and down, so it's like I need to look at it from the right side to rotate it or something. No, 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 it's all horizontal. What do you want from me? I can't grab that. Oh! It's a ramp. It's a ramp. <laughs> I see. Big cheese. Huge cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay. During islands, you will lose the ability big key, to awaken guys. suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. Mm -hmm. You did not wake up. So true. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay. Uh... I don't... Why, why is this room like this? Is there no... Okay, so I clearly have two choices. I could, I could like, take this and put this in here. Right? Well, hold on. Make it smaller and, and throw it in there. Go inside. But how can we not, how can we not go through the funny secret door? We gotta. Does the stuff close behind me? Seems to not. Stanley Parable Choice. Yeah, we played that on stream. That was so fun, by the way. Dream Soda. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. Okay. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Mm, no. Please use other door? What other door? What do you mean other door? I, I think I broke the machine. <laughs> I think I broke the machine. <laughs> mm. Is there like, can I like go up there or something? Hold on, hold on. Okay, and then what if I like place it like on there? Can I, can I, oh no, there's not gonna be any way I can jump up there. I don't, is that, is that anything? It kind of looks like it isn't, but it kind of looks like it is. What is that? Is that just like a box? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. What the hell is that? We're taking these. We're using these. All right. It does look like an AC unit, but I want to make sure it's like not something I can get up on. Oh yeah, it's just a box. None of these can be picked up, right? Let's use other door. <laughs> but it looks like a push handle. Why can't I push it? All right, nothing is interactable. Well, except for those buttons, but I pressed them all, broke this, got a, a soda. <laughs> I'm gonna take the soda with me. <laughs> I'm gonna take it with me. My beloved. <gasps> I can't. Oh, okay. Oh. Dallas's. <gasps> Why is this vent gone? What the fuck is happening in this place? Oh, I can see from, from through this like mirror here though, I can see that that one's broken. That is a proper mirror image. Interesting. But I can't see myself in it, I guess, because I'm in the dream world. I don't like that. <laughs> I did not like that. Okay. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. 
If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Okay. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. This is mirrored, right? This room? Oh, I was assuming the button would be there because it's... <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't get it to be in there, though. Right? Because it can't pass through. It can't pass through. Then that one is the way it is. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Okay! Who, who makes a room like this? No doors. What? <laughs> what is this place? Okay. We'll go here. Wait, or, or will we? What's in here? <gasps> so many ways to go. Ooh. I can't grab these, though. And all the signs are kind of pointing me to specific directions. So, okay. So I walked in there. Let's go from like first available. Let's just follow, hug the left. These all look the same. Is this like all spots that other people came out of? Or no, this is all mine. Oh, I see. They're all looping. They're all looping. They're looped together. <gasps> oh, okay. I understand, I understand. Ugh. Okay. What opens that? Oh! <gasps> this opens... this. Oh! Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna make this shit big. We're gonna make it huge. It's gonna be huge. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's gonna hit both of them. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Expand. Enhance. There we go. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Sona Sculpt orientation. Thank you so you much. Did it. To Yay. maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Do not delay. Why? That's why. These look like those temporary walls that they put in some gymnasiums. Cheese? 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 Can I place it like in between the two to like expand it? <laughs> Can I wedge it? Can I wedge it? Wait, I need, I need it to like roll. No, I need you to turn. I need you to turn! Turn. It will not turn. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, it has a weight to it for to, to affect this because this is uh, not stable. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Anything uh, interactable? No, I didn't check the other side too. It's the same thing over there. <gasps> it is. What the hell kind of sham box is this? Nothing over here? No. Got it. Oh. <laughs> they thought they could trick me. It's nothing. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. See ya. Room. Cup. <gasps> I can't call anyone. Hello? Let's go! <laughs> Ooh, is that me waking up? Is this one of those falling dreams? 
You ever you ever do that? You you are falling in your dream and you wake up and you go like, and you like completely have a, a full body like muscle spasm and you launch yourself like ten feet out of your bed. <laughs> that is out of all ways to wake up. In my opinion, that's the worst one. That's the one that I just I I hate experiencing the most. Three a.m. Oh my god, I don't get those often, but like occasionally I do. Oh, it's the worst. Okay, we got we got clouds. Clouds? Clouds? <laughs> Let me out. Sweet F. With a patient file? Oh, this is what must be the room I fell asleep in. To do this, like, was this like a, a weird fucking sleep study? Private. <laughs> I was hoping this would be like the, the closet in Stanley Parable where you walk in and you can just sit there with the bucket and the narrator's like, aren't you gonna get out? And you could just sit there forever and if you wait for like five minutes, literally five minutes doing nothing, he'll be like, there's nothing in the closet, you know. Maybe you feel safe. I <laughs> oh. oh, it ran out. Yeah, I like this. It gives me it gives me the same vibes as Stanley Parable. I wish there were more games of that type. <gasps> Dream soda. Random soda. Oh, it's literally random soda? It's called random soda? Oh my god. Reception. Oh, okay, so I went in here and went to Sweet F and fell asleep and did their fucked up testing of whatever the hell that was. Wait, I'm still in the dream world because I can do this, though. Right? I'm still in here. I'm still in this bitch. <laughs> Some doors are best left closed. Let me just make sure that those are all uh, out so that if anyone tries to stop a fire, this place just goes down. Oh, it's one of those testing rooms again, isn't it? <laughs> Not on my watch. <gasps> I got, I got, I got an achievement for that. <laughs> Push part open. Ah! What the hell kind of door is this? Oh my God. All right, hold on. Are there more fire alarms? <gasps> oh! Does anything happen if I pull them? How come they don't work? Is it? Okay. <laughs> you pulled? <sighs> okay, but how come it didn't even have a hinge on it? Here. I pushed it. Are you happy? What is this? Nondescript paper. Push to open. Exit temporarily moved. Uh, that... That's cool. Okay. I didn't go back that other way. That shit's not real. I don't like that. Oh! Ooh. 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 <laughs> what the fuck is this place? <laughs> Just a room with flowers. Okay. Okay, and then this one's like painted out. <gasps> oh, I see. Wait, but I didn't go back the other way. I hold on. I I can't leave that other one unchecked. I can't. It was this way. Oh, I don't like this. Oh my god, it's a tiny hallway. <gasps> Oh, ooh, I'm Godzilla. Okay. Well, guys, if you've ever wanted to know what it was like to be eight feet tall and scraping your head on the ceiling, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not this way. I was looking at chat and walked straight into the, the funky door. We must pull all of them. Oh, okay. Exit sign there. We are in a set. Oh. oh. Can I get up there? Can I go up? What the hell's in the middle? Maybe I can go over a wall, but I, I don't have anything grabbable here. Oh! Are the other ones grabbable? Hold on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Make a ramp. No. I said. 
make a rent. Oh, you're you're too you're too upright. About that, uh, not that big. that big. Then I just like smack it with another one. <laughs> but it's a little it's a little difficult to do. Uh, uh, oh, maybe they oh they can't really affect each other. Okay, I understand. Praise the sun, my do gifted a tier one sub to a villain. There we go. We <gasps> have given one hundred and forty seven gifts. Thank subs you. In the channel. Thank you. Thank you for gifting a sub. Can I? Oh, it's gonna be within this, no matter what. I really want to get it to be over that, but it's it's just on the edges of what I can see. So if I can get it to be. I understand what I'm doing wrong. I think, maybe. So I can drop it on one of these at the very least. Oh, let's back it out a little bit. Oh, too much. <laughs> too much. And then from here, I want to use other ones. I don't think I can make this jump though, right? Oh! <gasps> I did. What is this? The NSA? Staircon. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something about government buildings. This is the truest shit I've ever seen in my life. Fucking Staircon. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> like the realest shit I've ever heard. Oh my god. Oh! Here, here, let's, uh... Is that huge now? Fuck. <laughs> that should be... No! No! Here. <laughs> stop, stop. Stop becoming upright. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It, like, always lands, or tries to land upright. That's so funky, dude. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> I wish I could tilt it forward, but they don't let you. Let's grab another one. Was there a third one? There's three. Yeah, there are three of them. Do I even... Oops! Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I should just be able to jump over, right? There we go. You catch it mid-fall. It's the only way. Fuck! Okay, what if I look at it, like, really in an angled way? <laughs> okay, okay. That angle's gotta be it. Okay. I'm gonna take oh, hey, these It's the game with me. involving manipulation of perspectives to solve mm -hmm. puzzles. If anyone can solve uh -huh. these puzzles, it's Caesar crossword stream delay tax What is, tax congratulating what is this five the line long message? <laughs> inclusion in show Our Giga <laughs> Talk streamer does also play the video game. Stop typing That's so much. That's right there. Someone <laughs> Thank that you. can Giga Talk and get scamming. Giga well. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Are you making fun of me for talking? I see what's going on here. I see what's going on. You think just because I people talk that you can people talk, huh? Yeah? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I played piano for two seconds while I was over there. Oh. A whiteboard. Oh, yay. Arr, I'm a pirate. Too much? Okay, new cube design. Um, aluminum and plastic. Who writes their A's like that? Ugh. Washers. A hole? A steel rod? Wow. Too much? Eggshell. Is that the color of the wall paint? Because eggshell is like an off-white. Um, these- I'm gonna assume these are hex codes. Projection, parameter code 7A, symmetrical layout, tables. Balls. Balls. 
Banana yellow. Portal prototype. Z clipping? No. This... Order more red paint. Okay. A bunch of tallies. What the fuck is this? What does this mean? Arctic. I'm not solving this. I could, but... What's the point? Oh my god, a right angle. Okay. Balsed plywood corrugated. <laughs> Balsam? What is that one? What is balls? Is it not a D? Is it just like bad handwriting? <gasps> why was I able to draw that? Why, uh, why did I have this knowledge in my head? Is this the facility? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's the balls. You know what? Maybe that's what it was referring to the whole time. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. No, no. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But Me not neither. to worry. We're working on it. Am I stuck here forever? What? Even the dream people don't know. Oh, can I go up there? Hold on. This is really important, okay? Fuck. This is really, really important in the name of science and adventure. I'm probably gonna slide down this, right? <laughs> I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Like there's like an issue. Oh, there's a blue thing. Isn't there a third one somewhere? I don't want to fall though. Come here, little guy. It's going to fall. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It's going to fall. No, it didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can, like, get up there, though. I don't know how I would do this with only two. Mm. Was that David Tennant? It, it was a similar voice. Is it actually, though? I don't know. I've, I, I don't think I've heard his voice enough to be able to, like, hear a recording and be like, Oh my god, that's David! I feel like I would I would easily mistake his voice. Oh shit, I made a small little amount of bad. Uh, yeah, I feel like with standing here, there's just no way for me to, like... Unless I just look straight up at the ceiling. <laughs> okay, hear me out. See the lighting changes on it because it's touching that ceiling there? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm too strong! Alright, alright, I'll give up on going up here, I think. Unless I could see the, the third one. <gasps> I can, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait. Wait. Hold on. How would I... Mm. Mm. I feel like this is doable. I feel like this is so doable. <laughs> Fuck. I can't see. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, I need to pick it up from like from like this angle though. Is it the biggest I can make it? <laughs> no. Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. Let me back up. What are these jumps? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No! No! <sighs> Fuck. Can I back you out? Dude, the fact that you can't, uh... Let's do it like this. The fact that you cannot do any vertical rotation is the worst. Okay. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. Nice. And I think I feel like us utilizing this thing might be the way. This thing right here. Okay, so let that fall over. And I pick this up like this. And I put it like here. So I can get up there. <gasps> okay, sick. Fuck. No, the angle. Okay. Okay. Harsher angle. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. We have, to, we have to go all the way back. More! Oh my god. I feel like... Uh, uh. Can I... <laughs> Why won't you fall? Huh? Huh? What's your problem? Huh? <laughs> I know how to make it fall if it's like close to me. But keeping it angled and keeping it huge is just really finicky. If I do this, it's gonna fall right in front of me. Because I can see that, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, so if I make it huge like this. Oh, I can't put it above there, though. Uh. Oh, it did catch the edge. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Get out of my fucking way. Okay. Got that one and uh the third one here. All right, this time, this time. Ugh. Yes. How the fuck do? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh. Well, I don't die, so um, I can just repeatedly get hit on the head with this thing, and I'll be fine. Okay, get tiny, get tiny, so I can move you. If I make a ramp to like, to like one of these horizontal ones, one of these little horizontal pipes, it may just work. I can't crouch, right? No. <laughs> I wanna crouch. Okay, large. Bit by bit, oh fuck. No, you have to be large. Okay. There we go. All right, YOLO. <laughs> I went for it. I went for it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm stuck though. <laughs> Move it up. No, no. I tried. I really tried. I need to I need to pick it up with like my face on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think that's a good spot for it though. <laughs> I was hoping this side would be slightly, you know, the fulcrum would be like moved over there so it would fall down this way this end. But it's a little off. What are you getting caught on here that has you... Is it stuff behind me that's getting caught on? What's your problem, huh? <laughs> no. No. Alright. Alright. There we go. If I can get out of here, maybe I could get up to it uh, with one of the other signs. But I'm like, I'm like, oh, it just stuck. There we go. Oh, did you hear the um, the wind sailing past me as I fell? I wonder if falling from a high height does anything. Like so far it hasn't, but maybe I can die. This is the strat. Fall over. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm breaking it a little bit. Just a little. Okay, 
and then tip. Oh, I was hoping it would tip over. <laughs> Hate this shit. <laughs> Hate this fucking thing. Okay. No, I can't get it to go above that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to place it above that. Okay. Let's work on this one. Can you smart? No, I'm doing... I'm just trying everything. I'm trying everything to get used to how it works. Okay, and then I, I angle down. Oh, this, this view right here fucks me up. It just makes it smaller, usually. No, because now it's it's appearing like it's behind me. Okay. It's hard because it's so camera based. So my head spatially, I'm like placing it in between these things, but it 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 depends on the camera. How can I ever get this to tip in this little space though? I can't back out just the bottom. Oh This is pretty upright. <laughs> There's no way I can go up this right now, can I? <gasps> it's close. I might be able to get to the top of it and jump there if I do that correctly. If I do the, the placement of this correctly. No, no, no. No! <gasps> what? What are you- what- uh, what are you doing? Guys, I'm so determined. I'm so determined. Fuck. <gasps> Just trust me on this one. Trust me. <laughs> this angle sucks ass. See, when I do this, the cursor is here, so I think it's like placing it, uh, or not there. <sighs> is it still because I can see the edge of it in front of this? It's basing it off of that distance. I think that's how it's working. I can make it big enough, but the angle is just... Let's go further back. <laughs> the moment I try to walk back to make it a lower angle, it just never reaches this. But I feel like I'm clicking on the same spot as I back myself up. Or, or you know, very similar spot. So it's hard for me to tell why... It's hard for me to tell why... Uh, that difference is there. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, let's go from the side then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. What if we just... What if we just get funny with it that way, right? I feel like this should fill that space. Oh, the angle is like almost, almost jumpable. See, I back up a teeny bit. And it just falls, it just falls over. <laughs> Let me in. Let me in! You know what I mean? You see, you see, you see? It's too close to you. Yeah, but why wouldn't it fill the space? If I'm not close to it, though, then I can't have it be large enough. So what if I do just that I could see the bottom? No, because when I pick it up, then it scoots closer to me. Mm. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me think. 
Can I even jump? Okay. Ooh, could I even make this? It would have to be angled. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I have to like watch it to catch it. No. 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 Don't slide. <laughs> it's being affected by the weight so heavily. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh. oh! I just got two... I broke it. I just got two achievements. One said fail at throwing away trash. And one said something else. Hold on, how did I check my achievement? Uh, sugar crash, break a soda can. <laughs> All right, you know, fine. Mission success. I broke it. There we go. <laughs> but I wanted to go up there. There was a blue thing. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll take it. Ooh, left door or right door. They look the same. But this one is a fire alarm, so I'm going to do the right one. It should be the same, maybe. Okay, a little, a little boardroom. <gasps> Cute. Is this a cube I can grab if I see it in, like, the right perspective? It's too far. <gasps> nice. Okay, okay, so look at it. It becomes real. Um, um, hello? Is everyone here for the cube meeting? If I complete it visually, then I can see it. For real, it becomes an actual object. Is this too high? Nope. Easy. Okay. Uh. Is the edge of a table from from back here. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. 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 It's like missing a piece, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? A plant. A plant. Ooh! Oh, you're like that. And you're the plant. Oh! It was grabbable. Oh, okay, there we go. Huh? Oh, it's like little stairs. That's cute. That's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Get big. Let's move you closer. Oh! You have tricks, I see. You got moves. <laughs> alright, alright, let's, uh, let's do that. <laughs> okay, success. So, you see, it's like that viewfinder game. Which viewfinder game? You mean this one? When you say viewfinder game, I think of... Fuck, what was that Nintendo product? The, um... The little red one, and you put your eyeballs up to it, and you look through it. It's called Viewfinder? Oh my god, there's a game called Viewfinder? <laughs> Came out last month! <gasps> oh. Yeah, Virtual Boy, Virtual Boy. When you say Viewfinder and Game Together, I literally just think of a Virtual Boy. Okay, so this one will have to be up there to look at it, right? Can I pull this up behind me, or was this a funny, a funny doorway? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do it from here. Ooh. I like how he can, like, apex wall bounce off of stuff. Get out of my way. <gasps> I have to be higher up. I have to bring that with me? Okay. Can I go out of there? I wonder. Oh, no, wait. I'm fucking it up. That ain't it. Oh. Perception is reality. We saw this exact same sign. It's nothing new. It's actually lower, isn't it? Oh. What, what is this? Is this duct tape? 
you know, it was painted. Is it the edge of the door? Oh, it's the edge of the door. Oh, it's the edge of the door with duct tape on the outside of it. I see. Oh! Cute. Can I take this? No. Cute. Let's take the door with us. Door friend. Oh, yay. The music's gone again. Big button that I can't press. I think back here. No. Okay. Door, goodbye. Hey! Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. Is this a secret? We still don't know. But please keep moving forward. Mm. And hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely You lost. prefer frequent updates? No. No, I would rather you not update me until there's a real update that that is is anything different. Nothing's worse than someone like like emailing you an update and being like, update, nothing's changed. Don't contact me if there have been no changes. I hate that. <laughs> I know this like business practice that people just give like weekly update. There are no updates, but oh, I hate it. Okay. I need to be higher up for that. Hi, hacker. Can I pick you up? No. Uh, is anything in this room grabbable? Maybe the cube? Yeah. Okay. And then I make... Big cube. And I stand on big cube, and then I stand on this thing that's very obviously placed right over here. So many buckets. <gasps> oh! Ooh, I have a choice. Ooh, should I go through this one or that one? Should I go through this one and then come back? Oh. Enhance. Wait, this is too big. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh... Oh, maybe I couldn't make this jump without two objects anyway. Oof. Okay. <laughs> I like, I like when the objects clip through me. I think that's cute. It's cute that they want to be together. Why does this look fake? This looks painted. Is it? Um, I don't know if it is. And can I get this to fall over? I feel like I kind of can't. <laughs> I don't feel like figuring it out at this moment in time. I will come back if they let me. I will simply go this way. Hi, Is that where you came from? I thought I came from the other side. Okay. <gasps> I could have skipped. Hello, my oh. name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. Okay. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. Thanks, Glenn. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that emergency? should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Okay, but you... You lost me the first time, so I don't... I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Okay, well, that was a real place I could have gone. These are... Oh, they're all the same. Doctor, there's no elevator. 
Doctor. Doctor, there's no elevator. Doctor. <gasps> oh, I thought there was a fire alarm that I could pull for a second. Can I get out there? Hmm. Nothing I can, I can grab in here, though. Yeah, there's nothing to interact with besides these. Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> there's no elevator. It's probably something with the windows that were in that other room. Maybe the, the skylights. Oh, no, wait, I couldn't bring these through. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll grab a thing, but I forgot that this door was like this. Okay. And there's, there's probably something in there. Let's go look. <laughs> the elevator, stop it. No, no, no. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, yeah, this is all the same. can't grab those. What do you have? Oh, no way. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh it sticks? It sticks. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant. Oh, I am. As we will oh. no longer have any way of controlling it. Oh, I'm doing it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard <laughs> as you can and immediately run away. Got it, Glenn. Thank you. Thank you. Makes total sense, Glenn. That's great. <laughs> Can I fit? Ooh, okay. All right, so if I see, uh, if I see my parents, punch them in the face. Don't get lost. Beer fund $5, regular person, three to five dreams per night. Don't meet sister-in-law. What if there's a fire in elevator? I already pulled all the alarms. I pulled all the alarms. <laughs> Seize the day, yeah, huh? Carpe diem, huh? Yeah, that's right. If you make the elevator door really big, do you become big? I gotta know. No, it looked like it looked like the size of the door was not like changing anything. Four a.m. An hour later. These look the same. Okay. Sweet B, sweet F. This is, this is all the same. Okay. All right, we're getting closer. Still can't go in the private room. Very upset about that. All right, all right. Computer? No, nothing. Nothing's changed. Nice, okay. Perfect. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who mm -hmm. have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Oh. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. What are you trying to say about me? You will rectify this failure immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. I, I use the word rectify all the time. But it sounds like rectum. It sounds like rectum and it made me laugh, okay? Pee pee poo poo, so funny. So funny. I'm sorry. The funny lady said rectify. Okay, um. I see. Wait, wait. I'm trying to read. What do these say? What do the little ones say? What? Earth? Line. What the fuck does it say? <laughs> what is it? Read it. Someone read it for me. You're impacting their KPIs. Shh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> German. Well, well, yes, but what does this say? 
I can't read it. I wish I could enhance, but I can't. Electric schema, earth line, neutral. It says neutral. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. March 1991. <laughs> Don't take me back. Don't take me back. Curators only. Ah! Found the dice. <gasps> oh, okay. It's got apples on here. But then it has a chess piece over there. Why a chess piece? I can't grab it separately, though. I was kind of hoping I could. All right. Private. Won't let me high five the sign. It's messed up. Off we go. I could pull the other one up behind me to help with that. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's bring this in. Can I grab you? No. All right. This one, like, there. No, that's a little too big. There. And then this one, like, there. What is this? Half of one? <laughs> Why, though? What happens if I fit them together? Is it cute and they become best friends? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Cute. They're buddies. <laughs> They're kissing. <gasps> oh! Walks right in. It's a little sus in here, guys. It's a little sus. Can I go back up through? I can. It's a trap, yeah, but... But it's adventure. I'll go back, don't worry. Oh, <laughs> you can fall over that way, so in case you got to this part of the game without falling, make sure you go back. Do not cross, okay. I see. What do these say? Are you lucid dreaming? Now, eggs, milk, chocolate, space. Dream diary. Mm, okay. Nothing to discern. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> We're getting a little Sus. Oh. Professional tip: The average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per Maybe night. Stand. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting Aww. you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Okay. Whatever you say, lady. I ooh ooh. I don't like the way these are shaped. Ooh. Yikes, dude. Ugh. Oh, everything's gonna get weird. Called in for you go dream in college. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, can I grab them if I look at them from here? No. Oh, the, the crazy paintings. My brain is exploding. Nothing, okay. Nothing here. We go. I have to make sure that this, if this place goes on fire, you know, everything dies. Oh! I see. Did they all do that? Ew. Okay. What's the point of this one? For me to learn? Slides. Anything else? This only goes in the directions in. 
Can I break this? Can I move it like... No. Okay, let's move it back for now. Can I... Can I do some of this? Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I can. If you kind of like catch the edge, you can. Oh. That's too high. Um... And I can't like break this, right? Is there a way I could parkour it? It goes all the way up and this only comes out to there. Okay, nothing else grabbable, right? That looks like a different color from the rest. Why? Why? It gives me the vibes of, okay, if you ever play like Paper Mario, there will be like <laughs> objects in the background that sometimes are slightly brighter than the others. And when I look at that, I'm like, is that, is that a thing? Is that a thing I should be noticing? Is that thing gonna do something? Oh yeah, old cartoons like old Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to grab this out of here, like the little chess piece or something, but maybe not. Oh, does it become larger if I'm close to it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Or is it the same size no matter what? No, no, it looks similar. Alright, what the hell do I do in here then? Is it just this? Can I just make this? <laughs> I can just make it. Okay. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Good. Please that's, exit that's this good for you. as soon as possible. Okay. Um, well, I'm trying, lady. You keep bothering me. Oh, I can take them all apart. Ooh. Um, please understand that I'm not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Alright, nerd. Expert fire alarmist. Pull enough fire alarms. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, achievements. Thank you. Oh! Oh my god. It exploded. Okay, private. Erm. Um, what does this one do? Does this do the same thing? Oh! Oh. Oh. Let's just go. Woohoo! Oh. Well, okay. No dying, apparently. We could go up that way. Is this closed now? Oh, it's closed. Oh, no! I did it. You are here. In the dream layers of the mind. Why is this guy crossed out? What happened to Bart <laughs> Blagoff? <laughs> People only dream of ordering objects. Boring. Um, I think Bart died. Wait, can I go up here though? Is there something up here? Oh no, no, I can't grab these. Ah, okay, okay. Well, away we go. Game is lit like Stanley Parable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives me the same feeling. Oh my god. You wanna go to the casino when it opens? You wanna? I think, um, oh. It loaded 10 times. 5 a.m. All right, we are one hour ahead each time. Nothing weird, everything's fine, everything's normal. Oh. Hello. Hi. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. And despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone mm -hmm. in the previous section you've just completed, mm -hmm. you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness no. and self-doubt. Mm -mm. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? The sun's not shining. Um, there's no sun in this game, sir. I can only ever get two. Okay. This one's so long. Oh! Stop! 
Okay, let's go. Woohoo! I'll bring my big soda can with me for good luck. <laughs> with my lucky soda can. Nothing in there, it's just this one? Okay. Emergency generator, this way. <gasps> okay. Wow, the sun! Oh. <gasps> Love these plastic things, the little rubberized. Oh, the best. When you go into cold storage. Oh. Love them. <gasps> Is it because they know I'm absolutely obsessed with, like, gas tanks? What? Hey, I was gonna go in. I should have I should have stuck one of these in there before it closed. <laughs> My mistake. Do you think this cold storage that I was just going through is where they keep the bodies? Hmm? Hmm? Murder, 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 murder beans. That's cool. That's great. Can I go back through? No, it's closed. Where do I go? To the sides? <gasps> I do go to the sides. That's all my chat messages. Die, die, die. Diet. Diet soda. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Oh, no. Blood. Is this blood? Blood. Blood isn't. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, can I go around it or is it like I have to? Oh. Oh. It's gonna break and fall. They're gonna like make me think I can make it and then it's gonna break and then it's it's representing like like inevitability or something. Oh no, that doesn't even work. Is this the representation of inevitability? Does it not break? Does it just like, oh, oh, another out. Oh, cute. Okay. Who's the murderer? Is it me? Is it my stepdad? Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. And I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you okay. know everyone else is enjoying. No, everyone else is and depressed. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Is that what the sleep therapy is for? These are funky stairs. Yeah, they're, they're funky stairs. <gasps> Let's go! Hey! Knew it. Oh, I can't move any of these, though. Oh my god, do we get to kill someone? Do we get to die? I'm going into it. Wait, do I go into it? I'm just walking forward. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wait, wait, which way is forward? Hold on. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I didn't like that. Okay, I'm just gonna go forward. I'm just holding W. Hope you're having fun. Yeah, so fun. So great. <gasps> oh. Well, there's a lot of objects here. Oh, they want me to face this way, don't they? <gasps> right arrow? Oh. <gasps> oh. It's like when you go on the plane or in like a movie theater and they have the little light strips. Yes! Warning, you were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but mm -hmm. have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting Fuck. yourself even further. Shit. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Oh, well, how am I supposed to know? It's okay, we'll just go to the murder zone and die or something. Okay. <laughs> Tiny baby. Oh, it lights things up so I can use it to look around, huh? Oh. Ooh. 
Can I, I, I can't go over there though, can I? Do I use it over here maybe? Do I need light over here? Does the light help me? No, because that's blocked off. Okay, 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 okay. Is there something I'm supposed to see in here? I can't grab those. It's not like that other time where I could just... Can I, can I, can I break them? Like this? No. Huh? What do they want from me? What do they want from me? No. Mm, I don't know. Rookie mistake? What? <laughs> Failing to recognize that I've accidentally put myself in a dream within a dream. <laughs> Typical beginner mistake. Check if anything else is grabbable. Doesn't look like it. Um, I don't see anything. Now that I can light that all up. Oh, water fountain. There's got to be something with this doorway then, right? Right? Maybe? I can't- I can't crouch though. <laughs> what? what do they want from me? What do they want from me? Hold on, hold on. Make it tiny. Trying to see if I could see anything down that hallway. Oh. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say since this is an exit sign. Can I? Uh oh no, I don't think it'll work. I was gonna say, can I put it above a door and then turn it into an exit? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Right? Like, if, if our brain is getting that silly. If it is. Oh. Oh my god, did it just go away? <laughs> Guys, it's gone. <laughs> it respawned over here. <laughs> it actually respawned from that. Huh? I keep breaking stuff, okay? I don't know what they want from me in this room. I feel like being focused on the store is not the way, though. What if I make it huge? What if I break it? Enhance! Enhance! No? No? <laughs> no, is that not it? <laughs> Man, they don't want you to lose us. They're trigger happy with the respawn. Yeah, no, I could see that. I can really see that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do because nothing... Uh, what? Was this always like this? I thought I walked through here and I didn't even see that. Huh? All right. Okay. Is it just because I kept looking at the left wall? <laughs> Yay. Do these move if I hit them? No. Oh, oh, we have to go through like this. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really just looked at the left wall the whole time. <laughs> Give me my soda. Thank you. Okay. Oh, more more uh, blood stains. That's great. Can I put that over there? I'll just I'll leave it there. Nothing. Do I just go in? Ah. Huh. Okay. 
Let me make this, can I make this huge? So that it like lights everything up really well in that room. Does it pass through? Ah. Oh. I see. Yeah, that was just a brick wall. <laughs> Man. Okay. Surely nothing will happen in this dark room. <gasps> Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of oh, patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard <gasps> orientation protocol. It disappeared. And I don't create it. Oh, I don't make a shadow. I'm just an invisible camera in this virtual environment. Ah. <gasps> Oh no, a handprint! Okay. All right. It'll be fine. Oh, Ikea. <gasps> the generator. I see. Very nice. Wow. Swanky. What a nice red color for the walls. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the longest... Oh, my God. They said... They had a memo at the beginning of the game that was like, need more red paint. D do, don't you fucking think you have enough? Look at all these. <laughs> what the fuck? How many gallons is this? Jesus Christ. Well, this is fancy. This looks good. Look at that. So messy. Fuck. I can't stand on that. So messy. And I can't pick anything up to, like, go out the windows, right? No. Okay. Away we go. There's a red bucket of blue paint. No, no, no. I believe in them. I believe in the red paint. This is the one we saw earlier. Oh. Okay, familiarity. Am I, am I pulling myself out of it? Need to sleep. Why? Promotes heart health, blood sugar regulation, anti-cancer, potassium, anti-inflammatory, self-doubt, wordlessness. Okay. Which is the real one? Cloning. Too many. How many really? Are these... They look like fucked up avocados, but are these cells, like, duplicating? What are they? <laughs> Order longer freezer flaps. Oh, well, they, they were kind of, like, waist tight. That's true. Enjoy. They are fucked up avocados. Okay. Enjoy avocados just because they had a red marker. <laughs> what a lovely diagram. Yeah, it was. It was avocados. It was. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, oh, the loading bar was all fricked. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, well, that was different, but these... These are the same. Okay. I missed something? Don't tell me. Don't tell me about it. Uh, let's go like this. Okay. No! I have to go through anyway. Push bar to open. I pushed it that time, you see? They'll never let me go in the private room. Oh, they're held down. I see. Let's get our best friend in the door. Is this why you're green this time to let me know I should do this? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. One. Let's 
go with that one. Yeah, yeah. Box? Box? I see you. I see you. Mmm, there too. Okay, we'll go left first. Wait a minute. This clock doesn't say 6 a.m. Huh? The clock is lying. Can I break it? How many objects can we make before it starts lagging? Huh? Oh, yeah. Does this one do it too? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take one just in case. No. Oh, they duplicate themselves too. Mm. Do you do it too? Oh my god, you do. Can I go over? Let's duplicate forever. Forever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh. I was hoping I'd get to, like, <laughs> toss myself into the sky. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Mm. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. Mm. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Okay. Okay, okay. Right click to return. Oh, it stopped. Oh! <gasps> What's the point of this? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna check this out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send them all back. I'll send them back from whence they came. If only Mario was this easy. If only I could turn around and BLJ through this whole map. Apple. Right click to return. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Alright. Do they want me to... Not press the button? Could I like, oh, maybe make a big one and knock it out of the way. Yes. Yes. Oh. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay. It's only if I click it, I can't, like, drag it around. A fan. <gasps> oh, it's pushing all the apples that way. Ooh. I need this. I need this. Okay. Okay, need an apple up there. Got it. <gasps> Do they fall off here? Okay, okay, so if I if I just stand up there and grab it, it's appearing in front of me, right? So I should be able to just go here. Correct, and literally just grab one. Oh, no, no, it does appear in front of it. No, they, they get closer, don't they? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought they were, like, approaching me when I was doing this. We got this, we got this. Come here, 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 apples, come here, apples, come here. <laughs> yep. 
think I can cheese it? <laughs> and I can't, I can't roll them. I can only, uh, make them, like, hit each other and then roll. Oh, shit, look at how fast they go. <gasps> oh, shit. So they're appearing between me and the thing I'm clicking on. They're appearing in front of it. And then the shape or, or the size that they're appearing is based off of matching up the image of, of you know, that distance from, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but I know what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's why they get smaller as they go toward me. So I should be able to like, oh, I thought I could like just sit there and click a bunch and it would just snake its way out to me. If I did it this way, that's what I was thinking. I wonder if I could do it on the floor and then up. I was thinking that if I did this, it would, like, work, but I think because the fan blows them, it doesn't. You know? You know what I mean? Ugh. And I don't think I can block the fan. Oh, this guy's getting closer. Oh, This doesn't feel right. <laughs> this doesn't feel like the right strat. <laughs> this can't be correct. Can't be. I'm trying to make large, large apple, large apple. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh, I really thought that would be it. Ooh, some of these are so yellow, so unripe. <gasps> oh my god, the colors! Come here. Come here, tiny little apples. Come here. Come on. <laughs> They're never going to make it up the stairs. Look at how small they are. Why is this one's color like this? <gasps> Look at how green some of those are. What's happening with that? Yeah, but why? Yeah. Come here. Are some of you, like, green? Look how green this one is. Can we make them blue? Look at how green! <gasps> Why are you like this? Clone an object way too many times. <gasps> oh, now it doesn't work if I click on those. Golden apple? Okay. <laughs> Game hates me. Game is like, please stop. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So this fan is here. This fan will always blow the apples out. These here. If I just keep cloning, I would think that I'd be able to get them all the way over to me here. But I can't because of the fan. So I thought that standing up there, I'd be able to pull them upward over the fan, perhaps, if I clicked fast enough, and they'd kind of go, you know what I mean, through the middle, but they'd go up that way and land here, or I'd get one there eventually. But it don't work like that. Which means that the apple's not the solution, right? Can I grab this? No. Or maybe the apple is the solution. Can I, like... Get one of these over here. Come here. Come on. Fuck. Come on. Oh, getting closer. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Is this thing heavy enough to, to press the button? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can't be it. There has to be something else I'm supposed to, right? 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 <laughs> Wait, I want to see if this could work though. Oh, they're getting so tiny. Oh no. 
What do these look like if I clone them too much? These also get shiny? I must know. I must know what they look like. In the name of science. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're like halfway. Something tells me they're going to become like microscopic before I can even get them over there. Oh, oh, they're like, they're like really jumping. Click it anymore. No! All right. All right. All right. Okay, so that doesn't work. Hmm. 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 Did I inspect the fan enough? Is there anything to see here? Come here. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. <gasps> oh my god. That's incredible. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look how tiny they get. That's what I was thinking. This is, this is what I was describing. That I thought I could do, like, up that way, but... Obviously not, because of the fan. What the fuck do I do in this room? Oh, great. Good to know I can at least still do that. That's wonderful. Is there nothing on the ceiling? Is there nothing else clonable? I keep thinking the apple is a ruse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh. Cloned it too much. Okay, okay, okay. If I stay really close to it, are they all... Relatively large. No, it changes quickly. Okay. Alright. Hear me out. I'm gonna become a speedrunner. <laughs> I'm gonna become a super liminal speedrunner and I'm gonna take these apples. No! Do the sickest jump of my life. Uh, Alright, so I guess the color isn't relevant. Maybe. What the fuck do I do here? Can I... Can I... I can't push this, right? I can't affect this in any way. And it seems like I can't put, like, an apple in here to stop it, right? Because I can't... I can't grab it and move it. God, I love green apples. Alright, what if I just jump down? Check it. What if I just go with the apples? What if I do it again? being here with no rope here is cluing me in to like needing to needing to be here as I do something that's how I feel that's how I feel I don't know I don't know that feels it feels like it's something like that would you ever consider huh. selling a poster of your glass-stained prayer art? Glass-stained prayer art? 
What is that? Oh, the one that shows up when people do the, the cheers that I don't have active right now. Oh, 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 oh. Um, no, because I don't own that commercially. When you, when you get Arthur commercial rights and personal rights, and I have personal rights for that one. All right, what if I... Is there anything I can grab in there? No. <laughs> Thank God I can at least do that still. I feel like... Mm, Where's the spotlight here? Where's the spotlight coming from? Is it coming from those? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Nieko, thank you. Hello. Thank you for the raid. I, I was breezing through this game so far, Raiders, and then this room, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know what they want from me here. Sorry, I know I'm clicking a lot. It's not that I think something different's gonna happen. I'm just, it's just like satisfying to click while I think. <laughs> So it always spawns right near the last apple, which means all I can do is snake them out. I can only chain them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Oteru, hello. Hi. Sorry, I need to click something. Hi. Hello. Well, come on in. Have you guys played this? No help, by the way. I need to get an object onto here. I need to get an object onto here. Yeah, I'm apple stimming. I literally, it's, it's fun to click. <laughs> so I need to find out a way to get an object here by... The, the only mechanic I have right now... Is it fun? It's really good. I like it so far. Only mechanic I have right now is if I click on something, it duplicates it right in front of it. Between me and the thing. But no matter what, the things I could duplicate are those and, and <laughs> these. <laughs> these as well. Though I don't think these are uh, necessary. I could right click to send them back. That's all I got right now. Yeah, no help. No help for this one. Let me struggle. And I feel like oh, there's also a fan here, if you couldn't tell. That's just psh, blowing them out that way. Mm. But I feel like mm, my thought was that I would do something crazy with perspective here. It can catch the edge? <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Okay. I didn't think that would work. I thought it would only create it near it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> Warning. Dr. Pierce is I didn't even think of it as a possibility. Because I was like, it just spawns near it. <laughs> into the standard orientation protocol <gasps> in a desperate attempt to counsel you. Uh -huh. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but uh -huh. I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. Yes, you can. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. I mean, okay. All right, lady. Somnoscoped. Okay, so if I if I go like this, it'll appear in front of it between okay. Gallery. Huh. Alright, let's make a pile so we can um jump. Oh. Is that the back of it that's that's dark like that? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. We can go up though. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if there is anything up there, but I wanna see. Let's make a pile. that like that interesting okay love the painted clouds they're so comforting so lovely it's a brain neutro morality oh wait 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 can i oh i can't turn this one on okay and then this uh we've seen this before is this all the same it looks all the same to me and then this stuff is no longer grabbable. I can't pick those up. Okay. Oh. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. <gasps> Hello. My introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. Of course you are. Of course. All right. Whatever you say, doctor. If that's even your real name. Here we go. Just me and my friend, the dream soda machine. Oh. Hello. Name is my Pierce, Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Name is my Pierce, Dr. Glenn. Team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. That made sense. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Ah, yes. Edge science with cutting. A tomorrow can bright. Mm-hmm. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Mm. Me when I try speaking a language I'm just learning. <laughs> Literally me. Actually me. Um, what if I forget to set the alarm? Beep, 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 208. Emergency exit protocol. Death. Well, end it. <gasps> ah, apples. We got apples. All right, well, <laughs> guess I'll die. Loading. Oh, loading. <gasps> loading. <gasps> uh, loading. Uh. Oh, it's very excited to be loading. 7 a.m. Okay. <gasps> Sweet D. This is a different room. Oh! <gasps> we used to come out of there. Oh, oh, that was the schematic that I did a thing with. I hear music from over there. Okay, okay, I guess it's from the relaxation room. Ooh, I'm in a different room this time. Oh, wow, I feel so relaxed. Do I get to go in there? <gasps> I do. Honestly, this... This hallway is more relaxing than that room. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this... <laughs> quite nice. Oh, yeah. Do you feel relaxed, Chant? Do you feel good? Ooh. Ooh. Cozy back rooms piss yellow. Um, excuse me, that hallway was well lit. It was fine. <laughs> oh. If I did a stream that was literally just that, no me on the screen, me reading like weird stuff to you, would you watch it? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hey. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. <gasps> Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... Uh... Alright. <laughs> whatever you say, Doc. Not that I really get a choice. It just happens, man. I don't pick the mechanics. Nice. Oh. Woohoo! <gasps> a house. Oh my god, wait. Are my parents going to be in here? The game said if you see your parents, Punch him immediately. Right? So, like, I'm just saying. But I don't have a dollar. <gasps> no! Oh. Oh, there's a little side door. Okay. Someone's packing, someone's... Ugh. I need to make this place huge. It needs to be enormous. Okay. Okay. Can I fit through that now? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Got him. Ugh. 
Okay, okay. There's another one here. Can I take the radio with me? It doesn't play, okay. Spooky TV hooked up to what? Hooked up to something. Maybe I turn it on then watch. Hello, mm. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. You know, I mean, the dark hallway does make me feel so, uh, soothed. Right? <laughs> wow. Did you hear that? <gasps> Can I step on it and die? Thing in there. Ah! Ah! So it's doing this, but that TV's still showing something? Hmm. hear that creaking? Oh, they're going in on the sounds now. They're going in on the sounds. Ah! <gasps> Big room. What is this? It's like Jenga. Can I pull pieces out? Perfect. Okay, beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> as soon as they had me moving a fan, I was like, all right. I know what to do. Normally sized room. Wait, these, these look kind of... These always feel small. I can't tell. Do they feel small? Is that the only one I can grab? Huh? Can I grab any of these? No, I don't- I didn't see the... ...thing. Okay. Can I go in? Uh... Can I take you out here? the significance though I can't open it can the fan like blow it open mm. <laughs> wait this is a little too big I don't think it can because I'm pretty sure this is a pull not a push but it's worth a shot. Can I put it like... No, I can't put it into one of these. <gasps> Wait, I kind of can. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Why can't I? <gasps> oh, that was something you go through. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Got him. Okay, locker room. Ooh. Don't look. Hey! Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Welcome to my brain. I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Mm? The worst thing you can do is by focus you. on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, mm. the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual You don't have to fucking list them out. Ever held dear. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Right, right. So true. That's a great point, Dr. Glenn Pierce. That's a good point. I won't focus on that. You don't like this Glenn guy? <gasps> Bouncy castle? Oh. Oh. We got the bouncy castle. Ooh. Woohoo. Is the pool? Can I, like... Get up there and jump. Ugh. Too big. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. That did work. Aha. Oh, I was hoping it'd be more fun in the bouncy castle. Okay, okay, but we're tiny in here. Oh! <gasps> I could do this and then get out of there. Like that. It's too, yeah, it's probably too small. Maybe? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. You're so welcome. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Love to hear Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Anyway, mm -hmm. you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. Wonderful. This is like when I was, okay, when I had, like, before my surgery, when we were doing all my medical shit, that's what it was like. Like, sorry you're dealing with this really uh, rare, weird situation. But at least, you know, when we try these things out, we'll know how to do it next time on other people. And I was like, yay. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so happy to be of assistance. <laughs> yay. That's so cool. Okay, was this? It sends me through there? Yeah, okay. So then if I can move both. I wanna oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna take me a hundred years to run over there. Oh my god. Oh, how do I even move it like Ugh. Okay, I wanna be I wanna be like normal height. Here we go. Oh, I have to be really specifically sized. And then, and then this has to be like here. A little larger. Okay. Eh, it's a little too small. No. 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 Like this. Like that. No. Stop. I swear to God. <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck. I'm enhancing it. Okay. No, 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 smaller. Surely this time. <laughs> Come on, me. Come on, come on. I have to do it like at the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Beautiful. Not the apple again. Okay, we have a, a house. A house that we could move. We're on a chessboard. And there's some space over there as well. Oh my god. I'm so small in this room. Okay. Make this a little bigger. I'll make this like... Yeah, just the size it needs to be so I can go in. Okay. I mean, it worked. I mean, yeah. If it works, it works. Five, six streams is the absolute limit. 
Oh. Why'd they write C++? <laughs> Why? Why, huh? Welp, uh, we'll be fine. Oh, I'm so tiny. <gasps> this is me. This is me. Because C++ is a nightmare. You know what? <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> You're fucking right. Always hated it. Always hated it. 3 a.m. Oh! It has been 3 a.m. before in this game. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnascult Yay. experience in 10, 9, 8, error, error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. This again. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Mm -hmm. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Well, not my problem. Hypothesis. You're supposed to fix Patient it. Patient was improperly oriented. <laughs> Conclusion. <laughs> Impossible. None. Oh. Reformulating. Recalculating. Recalculating. Please Improved turn left. Hypothesis. Wake up, Patient wake up, wake up. There's additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Wake up. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Lady, I can't emergency get out. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Emergency destroyed. Okay, well, me and my soda friend are going to go over Instruction. here. Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. Okay. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, we're coming out of suite F again. This was the original room we were coming out of. Hmm, all seems uh, normal and good and great and cool. Oh, it keeps going wrong. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. 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 Ew. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I hear it over there. What the hell is this? Carrots? Mayo? And what? Are these like enormous weird cucumber slices? Or are these plates? What are they? Are these stacks? Oh, they're stacks of plates. Oh, no. If I look at it from the side, I can see a stack of plates. I thought, I thought it was like a weirdly huge vegetable, but it's if I go like that, it's a plate. <laughs> I was like, no way. They're changing the vegetables to be like huge. Oh. <gasps> oh. That's different this time. Okay. Nowhere to go, huh? Nowhere to go, huh? Oh. Oh, I just like ran over here just cuz. Oh my god, let me in, let me in, let me in. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Hello, okay. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Welcome. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Uh huh. Guys, gravity's messed up. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. These rolled a little bit. Is it gonna stay like this? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, huh? Okay. 
Sick. I'll take it. Hmm. There's a tear over there. This one doesn't move. That one doesn't come off like it usually did. Ooh. Hey, doctor. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, mm -hmm. of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. I see, I see. Thank you, doctor. Uh, this one's all funky. Oh! <laughs> they did that on purpose. Oh, stairs! All right. Oh, let's go. Take me to the play. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's an. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Perception is not reality. <gasps> Stop dead enemies that can go through. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I was gonna say. Okay. If I just follow the signs. Now. Oh. Huh? Why did it make a the no beep? Is it this time it changes? No. Huh? Nothing's grabbable, though. <laughs> Should I turn back, maybe? Okay, perception's not reality. Stopped it in. Halt. But I can't go that way. Huh? That's not changing, is it? I should be going the way the sign tells me first, right? Is that what it is? No? What does it want from me? Hold on. Sorry, I'm just going through it fast. <laughs> this always says not, right? Is that the same every time? I feel like it is. Let's go. Okay. See, I was I was thinking that it would be um because like earlier it's always like follow these signs. So I was thinking it would be that you just follow the sign no matter what it tells you, and you just do it, and then and then proceed. That was my assumption. Oh. But I guess it's just like follow the signs is what they want. No. So when it is that direction, when it's pointing that way and it is the door they want me to go through, when it's pointing that way and it says this, what do they want from me? Huh? I don't know what they want. Does the number have anything to do with it? Nothing visually looks different, right? It's not cardboard, that's plastic. Alright, okay, okay. Are you XDDing because you actually know the solution because you've done this before? Or is it because you just watched some streamer figure it out? <laughs> Which is it? Nothing's up here, right? And I can't grab anything. Yeah, I can't. Can't touch anything? I don't have to go through. Technically, I don't have to go through, right? Makes a little beat before I do. Does that change anything? All right. Hall one left and the door is right. <laughs> left and the door is left. Okay, right and the door is left. So what? But the only option I have is to go through every time. 
That's it. That's all they give me. This one took me a bit to figure out. Yeah, because I don't see anything actionable. Or I guess it's probably not like actionable in a clicking kind of way. Why did that... Did you see that? Like, did you see the, the color change? I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, so now it wants... It says go left. But the door is to the right. Perception is not reality. Huh? Okay. I mean, we just know that if it's samesies, it's good. So I just have to figure out what to do if it's not samesies, right? There's nothing here. There's nothing that changes. It's the same shit just flipped, I think, right? <gasps> Nina! Nina, hello! No help. Oh, yeah, yeah, Raiders. No help. Hi, I'm playing Super Liminal, and I got to this part. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. We're a, we're a bit into the game. I don't know how long this game actually is. I hope stream was good. I hope stream was wonderful. How did... Oh, you know, I just ran through, um... Before. I ran through before. And I, I got to, like, Hall 3 or something, didn't I? Is it just because I did it fast it can't be no no yeah it tells me that's wrong so raiders i'm trying to figure this out this part yeah i don't know i don't know what they want from me genuinely because the only actionable thing is to keep walking through door from what i can from what i can tell right now so i'm like uh. and i was running through and like thinking that if i follow the sign i like tap the wall or like you know show that i existed here first and then go through them, maybe it would be a thing. But it's telling me that's wrong. <laughs> so that's that's where I am right now, Raiders. I'm just like, oh. What do? What do? There's something climbable, nothing I can interact with. I guess the number has to do with something, right? Okay, so it's hall one. It says go left, but it's actually to the right. That's gonna tell me it's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. So I understand that when I do that, when it's pointing left and I go right, I understand it's telling me that it's wrong. But I don't know why. Like I can, I can predict like it, it will, when I just walk through, it'll tell me that that was wrong. But I don't, but I don't get the, um, the reasoning. Nothing changes. I was really, I was really thinking that this was going to be like an invisible wall sort of thing. Uh, not invisible wall, uh, a door that I could actually go through. Is it because, um... Is it what I'm looking at? Huh? I think, I think it has to do, um... Uh... I think it has to do with, like... No. No, because I wasn't really... Mm. Is it just that I have to look this way? No. can't be it yeah cause it's not it's not like directional because if you're looking at that it's like no and then you go through what if you're like i think it's literally just a don't look at it situation oh i i, I peeped it oh yeah oh uh... Uh, okay, 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 okay. Woo! So just do like that and see like the red bounce lighting. Oh! Well, 
Wait, that one. I don't know why that one did it. Is it because I because I peeped it a little? All I have to do is see. Oh fuck! I looked at it. Is that okay? <laughs> Wait a minute. I feel like I was close, but then like not quite. So it's not it's not don't look at it then. It's something else. Because if it were that, then that would that would work on the fifth one. And it's not. So it's it's not that. So it's it's not it's not like look left, right? It's not. Is it just look the opposite? Because they said perception is not reality. Like what? Like, be looking right when I do this. Be looking right. No. Huh? Be looking left. No. It's not that. My brain is telling me it's like perception is not reality. So, so being looking at this reading like stop, don't, don't go through, uh, and then going through means that it's like correct, but it's not because I hear that when I do that. Right? Same thing here. It'll do the same thing. It'll tell me no. Well, that works, but I don't think that's why. Again, I'm looking at it. Signs pointing toward it, and I'm looking at it, and I go through. Yeah. So it's not that. I don't know. I don't know. I really thought it was like, don't, don't look at it. I thought it was because they, because they give you a thing where like, if you walk up here, you can see the, uh, the gas tank on the right side. And that's the side that the, the no, no sign is on, right? If I look down and I don't look at the sign with the arrows, oh fuck. <gasps> oh! No, the gas tank does change. So it's. Huh? Gas tank does change. Why does the gas tank change? Why does the gas tank change? It's always placed on this wall, regardless of what's down here. I didn't realize that that didn't uh, move with the the signs. I was thinking that they were attached. And this as well. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So there's there some things that don't carry over with that. I don't know if that's relevant, but it's just a thing that I like didn't didn't notice. Goofass, who said that? Who said what? <laughs> Do you put it to emote only? Did enough people say shit? I, I, I don't know what they want from me. I don't know what they want from me. Is it just like, like, keep your head down, don't look at anything that could indicate where to go? No. <laughs> Chat say mods are cool right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if they could, they would. Surely, if, if they were able to, they would, they would definitely do it. Okay, that pattern's always the same. I don't think that pattern would be anything. Does nothing else change? Okay, gas tank is always on the side. The only thing that changes is what's on this back wall. If it's these, or if it's that door. And then the number of this increments up when you get them correct, and this change is what it's pointing at. It's not always pointing at the door. So now it's pointing right. And it's like, stop, don't go, no trespassing, dead end. That doesn't, uh, there's nothing I can do there. Oh, I don't, I don't know. He's mods drool. 
<laughs> yeah, you tell him. You tell him. Newt, thank you for the five gifted subs. Yeah, when I was coming up to this, there were people going, oh, this part. So I don't know if this one's like, like I'm missing something obvious or if it's actually like bullshit. I can't tell, but I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Personally, that's how, that's how it feels to me right now. Mm. Right there I was trying like face the way the sign says again. I'm never allowed to go back through. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I want to ask for a hint, but but if I, I feel like this is going to be the sort of thing where you can't give me a hint without uh without completely telling me how to do it. I, f I feel like it's it's going to be like one of those it, it's some tiny detail that I'm not noticing, and then as soon as you say it, I'll be like, oh okay, <laughs> or something like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So I, I'm not actually like trying to show, I'm just running through as I think. One left, I go right. One left, I go left. All, all I know that's confirmed for sure is, is, or I think is confirmed for sure, is that if this uh, is pointing in a direction and the door is that way, it's fine. That's it. But then if it's pointing this way and the door is not this way, then I should do something different when I go through or before I go through. I don't know what. So like that one, this is different. So I'm not sure what to do there. Like, what do you want from me? What do you, what do you want from me? It also has the eyeball symbol, so I was thinking, I was thinking it had a lot to do with, like... He said perception. I was thinking it had a lot to do with what I'm looking at, what I'm perceiving in that moment that I go up here. Up this way. But, I don't know what there is to look at. Well, like, what is there to look at besides this thing? And those. Maybe, maybe... It says go that way, but you don't. Haha, <laughs> you perceive the wrong thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know what they want. Like, I understand like half the prompt, I think. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so this is going to be the same until I get it right, right? Yeah. Okay, it's pointing left. It's pointing toward no. It's pointing toward no. Okay, what if I don't look? Well, this, this one was correct, so... Okay, this one's pointing toward no. So don't look at it. No. So direction doesn't matter. It's pointed toward it, so going through is fine no matter what I do, right? Like, I can't possibly get that wrong, I think. Hmm. I don't know, man. Oh, hi, Wolfie. Wolfie, can you use your clairvoyance to tell... Oh! He's running in front of me. Can you use your clairvoyance to uh, discern what the game wants me to do? He's staring me in my eyeballs. It's my cat, for, for anyone who doesn't know. He's staring at me. Hi, Wolfie. He's walking in front of me. He's just pacing. <laughs> He's just pacing. <laughs> Wolfie, help! Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. I have no clue. I have no clue what they want from me on this one. IDK, man. IDK. But I got it right a few times, which means I, I did something. It's something as simple as, like, looking somewhere running through. And I'm... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Give me one sec. Uh, sorry, Zen messaged me. Zen messaged me, pause champ. Why did Zen message me, pause champ? 
<laughs> Why did she message me pause champ? I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> I think, I think. <laughs> A god demon gifted a tier one sub to you. Got this in the bag. Oh, thank you. I think I think if I answer her, she's gonna try and make me play a game with her. All right. Well, it's pointing left, so I'm gonna look left. It's pointing left, so I'm gonna look right. Like, like, I'm still stuck on the perception thing. I feel like this is the most relevant thing they've given me, right? And I feel like it has something to do with where I'm looking still. Like, I, I'm still on copium or hopium, maybe, that it has something to do with that. And they're telling me I want to go left, but I can't. So what's up with that? What if I look to the right as I do this? Then it becomes what? So the side I'm looking... Is this spawning on the side I'm looking? I think it is. Do I have to memorize what side I want to be... The sign is for one? So one is going left. Huh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So if I look this way, then it like... Um, I think I understand. So the next one's gonna want me. Oh, it does two want me to go right? I think it does. So I should look left as I go through here. Yeah, okay, I don't know what three wants. Three wants me to go left. Wait, was that correct? Three wants me to go left. Okay, so one left. Oh fuck, I turned two right. Three left. Uh, for left. Ah, uh, wait. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. I think this is correct, or like the idea that I have is correct, and I just have to remember shit or do it right. <laughs> I just have to actually do it right. I think it's something like that. Like I'm um, what I'm perceiving at the moment I go through the door in that hall is like it, or it's taking the. Maybe the last one that I was doing. I'm not sure which it is out of those right now. But okay, so this one's gonna want me to go left. And the two wants me to go right. Wait, am I am I remembering this correctly? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So I have to face, one is left, or the, let me talk about the way I'm facing. One face left, two face right. Three. Oh, that's why this is here, so you can't even see the next one. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I think that's why this is this object is placed here, so you have to jump in to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so two face right, three, uh, let's just go face left, I don't remember. No, it should have been three face right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So one, one, we want, we want to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Whoops. Okay. Wow, I forgot which one I was doing already. Uh, for what? One face left, two face right. Three fa- oh. Huh? Am I still- wait. Wait, am I still doing it wrong or was I on the right track? Oh, I can't, I can't tell if it's last one or what you were doing in that the last time you did this number. So you have to like set them up to be correct. If that makes sense. Okay. 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 And that way, that way it's like you do one and then you do two wrong and then you do two right. So I'll do two wrong. Um, and then I'll do two right. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> Wait, was I cooking or was I not? I feel like I almost have it. Okay, so I faced right on that one. We went here and the door is on this side, so it's not faced to the last, uh, facing in the direction of the last one you did. I think it's relevant to the last time you were here. I think that's it. This doesn't change, right? Yeah. Okay, so for three, do wrong on purpose. Oh, I feel like this is gonna fuck me up here, though, because it does. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I could tell that I'm really close, but I think uh, the conclusion I was coming to was off. Also, Tanya, thank you for the raid. Hope your stream was good. If you want a hint. If it's a mod giving one, I trust you to give me the lightest one available, but nobody else. <laughs> Nobody else. No, no, no. I'm also all woozy from the blood draw earlier, so I'm like, is my brain like not, um... Am I not remembering correctly? Like, as I do this, am I forgetting what I'm doing? I can't tell. Have you tried solving the puzzle? <laughs> yeah, 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 see? This is why you're my mod. <laughs> this is why. All right, we have to test again. You have no clue what's going on? That's fine. Me neither. Um, I think it is... I'm gonna do hall one face left. Hall two face right. This was working. One left, two right. And then three here is incorrect. So I'm gonna look at this as I go through. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this repeats. It changed. <laughs> it did change. Okay, so the thing, I think the way I was thinking of it still did introduce variation. Shit. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Why is your name Waste Level Hole in the Wall? <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Welcome. So again, if this is correct on one and we look right, I'm gonna go through. It's good. If this is correct, it's not. If this were correct, we could look this way and go there, but it's not. It's not. So since it's not correct, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I reset the last train of thought. How about this? Notters, if my train of thought before this, like where I was starting to go through and, you know, list what you perceive. Hmm. <laughs> Is waste level hole in the wall a hint? <laughs> See, okay. Okay. So some people said notters and a bunch said nopers. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I don't even know how many of you actually know the solution. Here, yeah, yeah, mods. Uh, uh, decipher the hieroglyphics. You, you can do it, surely. Receive a bunch of lames. Oh, shit! Oh, ho, ho. ooh, you gonna take that shot? You gonna take that? Well, if I look like this, you know, this way, I am perceiving that I'm doing the wrong thing. If I look this way, because of the sign, I'm perceiving that I'm doing the right thing. But that's not it. So if I look at those, I'm perceiving that I'm doing the wrong thing. That doesn't change anything. <laughs> and on that one, I went through Hall 1, the exit of Hall 1, looking to the right, and now this spawned on the right. Which is great. Hall 2, I need it to be on the left. So I'm going to look left as I go through. Hall 1. Nope. See, now it's on the left. Do you see? That's what I thought is cooking before, but then it doesn't work. Hi, Umfie. Hi, Mint. Mint, have you played this game? I mean, the, the hell part that everyone was saying that they were like, oh, oh this part. Oh. I feel like I, I breezed through most of it. And then this one, I'm like, not cooking. <laughs> huh? Okay, now, um... Is that supposed to happen? Is that, is that supposed to happen? Can you give me a nod or if that's supposed to happen? No? <laughs> oh, it did, it did mysteriously show me a cutout of a doorway over here. Okay, interesting, interesting, very cool, very cool. All right, here we go. I'm gonna look this way. Okay, so every time I do that, it works on one, it works on one. And then I looked here, it's incorrect, I'm gonna look left. So this time, Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. We want two that way. We want three this way. Okay, we want four this way. Okay. We want five this way. Why is this working this time? Why did that work that time? I feel like I tried that before and it didn't. Hold on. Is it because I did set up before that? Is because you kept looking? You confused yourself? Look the opposite way you want to go? That's it? Okay. In my head, I was logging every... <laughs> oh, I overthought it so much. I was logging like literally every instance of what happened and what configuration things were in and i was like oh clearly i'm doing a setup the first side you look spawns the signs it's always the way you look first at the intersection that's it ew okay got it the way they set it up makes me think it's so much more than that <laughs> finally we're out of the hell room I was making it five million more things than it needed to be. <laughs> Mint, you should play this one. You should do it. Is this a jello? Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> My dice disappeared. Oh, it has a face! Look! Okay. Alright, love the bouncy castle. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, he's back. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, 
You must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply Waste of level hole in the mm -hmm. wall, Thereby gifted a tier one state gallo in which you will not be this able to wake up. Thank you. With the channel. help of triggering mechanisms. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Got it, sir. Oh. 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 Mm. That's piece shaped. Oh, okay. Well, I can't, I can't like regain the perspective I had easily, right? Unless I can jump up here. No. <laughs> I was thinking that because this made a funny shadow that I could like do something there. All right, video game. It looks so, it looks so gettable, like right here. It looks so grabbable, but then it gets like a little funky, a little short. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Waste level hole noise is mince chat a bunch. Dude, I, I was at, um, I was at a place with a friend. We went into the bathroom and, um, we saw that someone had attempted to cut a hole in the bathroom stall, but they did like a really shit job and like gave up halfway. It was really funny. <laughs> like, like you could see where they punched out a little hole and then like stopped <laughs> and like didn't finish it because they realized, oh shit, you have to, you can't just like do that, Hyandra. It was just, it was really fucking funny. And I told her, I was like, yo, look at this, look. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, okay, so the thing, the thing, uh, got away from me. Ah. It's just a little guy. Okay. How are you, Andra? Playing, I'm playing the puzzle game. It's very important that I run all those out. Wee. Uh, it's hallway for perspective on that. <gasps> so meaningful okay we keep going what the hell is that emote it's you guys kissing each other it's you guys oh. i didn't like that it's you guys kissing because you're all such good friends okay <gasps> it's the bed with the horrible like terrible looking sheets um which way do i want to go i guess i'll go this way well, what happens if I go that way? It's in there. Is that is that just where I came from? Oh, it's literally nothing. Oh, <laughs> it's actually nothing. Okay. It was it was set up to look almost like the front of an elevator too, just to piss you off, huh? Oh, he did say something about the length of hallways. Getting a little funky. Ah! <gasps> Perception is reality. It's like, it's like, it's like Takeshi's castle. You know that one where they're, oh. You know the one where they're going through all of the like, they're, they're doing a million of these in like hexagons. And then sometimes they get like pushed out into the water and laughed at. Cause some of the doors are just going to the outside where there's just a moat fucking hilarious nice please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically oh. play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight dream weight what's a dream weight oh <gasps> Staircon, guys, we're going to Staircon. Woo! Okay, that's a painted wall. That one became a painted wall. I have to turn them all into images by walking close enough to them. I guess. Like, this is a 3D environment, and then there it became an image. Okay, and then this one, too. Do it. Imageify. Nice. Oh. 
<gasps> That's cool. Okay, okay, okay. So you like try to reach the outside and as you go, it just like fucks you up. And then we're back in the room and I'm assuming that when I hit this, it will be back in the normal room, right? This is the kind of smart, walkable urbanism illegal to build in most of the US. Dude, I hate parking lots. When I when I did my last video, I should have written that in there when I was uh, when I was like deciding like when I was sitting there interviewing myself and thinking about what I should say. One of the top three most hated things in the world. I should have said parking lots. They, they ooh, I hate them. Ooh, they're the worst. They should not exist. Unusual. It huh. appears you have entered the Sonascalp diagnostic framework. Uh -huh. Patients do not have access to this tree. Diagnostic warning. This is what I'm in. Use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. State states. This is the one I'm in. It's the one I'm in. There's no door there. Okay, noted. And then what is this? This is that's that's where I was entering from. Give me the soda. Give me a diet soda. I actually hate diet soda. I think diet soda is so awful. Okay. Yeah, that was the building I was in. Can I just do this forever? Oh. I can come back in here, but like, but like huge or tiny. Um. Let's come in here, but tiny, and then try to get up here. How does that sound? Ooh. Make it huge. Make it huge. I'll clip through. I'll clip through. It's fine. Ah! Come on, man. Okay. Get huge! Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh! It won't get huge. It doesn't want to get huge. Not in this room. Get enormous. It'll really... Uh, the only way to do it is if I pick it up like super close like that. But then it doesn't it doesn't quite work. The room's too small for that. Hmm. I mean, they're obviously... Uh, oh, they don't even want to write this out. Okay, so how about I make it tiny and f and and go back through the way I was going? I'll do the opposite. I'll go like, oh, oh, uh. oh, god. But right back where it was. Like maybe it's a fluke. Nice. Okay. Then I'll go out and I'll enter one of those other buildings. Ugh. Good enough. Maybe I can't get in these buildings. Close, come back later. Diagnostic warning. <gasps> Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. All right, lady. Whatever you say, lady. Do I need to be smaller? What is this? What is this tool? <laughs> is it like for shaping something? Ooh. Maybe it's, maybe it's for sculpting? Okay, how about we make this even smaller? So that way I can walk out at like this size. I don't think I can go in there though, actually. That doesn't look like a doorway to me. That just looks like a whole lot of nothing. Mm. What, is there any other thing I would wanna like get tiny for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get huge. Ah! Okay, let me go back in here at normal height. Um, I think it's just that because it has like, uh, you know, the music playing. Oh. 
Diagnostic I feel like I slid Paradox into that. Prevention protocols may not be it's gotta be this, right? What if I put myself in the vice and just crush myself? Devs removed that Easter egg? Oh, was there an Easter egg there? Oh. Was it the one where I go in and then fucking die after putting myself in a vice grip? Can I just... Yeah, can I go back to bed? <laughs> Let me go back to bed. There is an alarm clock that's off there. It's gotta be this, right? It's gotta, it's gotta be the funny little village. And why is this undone, hmm? Unfinished, I should say. Like, it doesn't look like it was ever done and then undone. It looks like it was never finished. Let me look at the tiny village again. <gasps> Little door. This music kind of fucks. Hmm. Music too dang loud. Sent a burnt curry. Shipments of food coming here. Don't have space for more. Ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Also ask Ryan Medical for increased canister. Order frequency. They spell the two ends. AKA don't do it ever for paradoxical behavior. Well, <laughs> it's too late. Trophy Tonys. Medical supply and shipping. Yeah, I really thought like maybe shrinking myself and going in there would be a thing. But it looks like I can't go in. Yeah, I can't go in any of those. Oh man, I wanted to go in the diorama. Ooh. I mean, I kind of am here. Kind of, sort of. Oh. Why was that so slow? Huh? Ooh. It slows things? Yeah, because I'm shrunken? Oh. <gasps> Diagnostic warning. Gravity Paradox depends on your size? May not be fully implemented. Implemented. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Oh, every time I jump. <laughs> every time I jump, it shakes this a bit. And it... <laughs> that's funny. Okay, interesting. But I can't... Oh my god, to think that it was that small. But I can't, um do the opposite right i can i can make this huge and walk in there and be really tiny and then things are falling slowly but uh the only thing that i can pick up is that i cannot make this small and go in and be huge like this is this is the biggest i could be and this still doesn't uh yeah that doesn't do anything oh that's so weird there's nothing they would want from me over there um, mm, mm. I don't know. Hi, Kian Chat. Hi, welcome. Welcome. No idea what we're trying to accomplish. Well, you just want to keep progressing forward, but there's no door that I can see them trying to get to or anything. So I'm trying to just figure out what what this room wants from me. I was thinking, my, my first thought was when I picked up the thing that out of this diorama. Um, my, my thought was that shrinking myself down by, by, you know, doing funny stuff with this would let myself, would let me walk around here and then these buildings would be something. But upon further inspection, that's not the case. So, now I don't know. So if I make this larger, and I go in here, it just loops me back to the, to the front door over there. Like, if I place it this way, this is exactly how we're oriented. The front door's over there, you walk in, you see the drink machine, the back of the drink machine's right there, and then you walk into this room, which is in the back. That's it. So if anyone's like, some of you are like, what's going on? It's like, spatially, what we're in right now is just this. So if I just walk, like, in through here, it's sending me in through there, at whatever size I am. 
So if I make it huge, I make it enormous, and I walk in and I'm like a tiny guy, I'll walk through there as a tiny guy. You know what I mean? All right, I don't know. I <laughs> hmm. So the only other thing I could think of is that I could like place this somewhere. I could place it somewhere up high and then walk out of it and like get anywhere. may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I am hearing what she's saying. I just... I don't see a single spot where I might want to be. Oh, this says conception instead of reception. Um... Okay. So the only, the only door I have is this door. It's giving me outer wilds feelings in a good way. Maybe I should close my eyes starting now. Yeah, 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 it's good. I like, I like when I get stuck on something, honestly, but I, the problem is that every time I've gotten stuck on, it's usually been from overthinking it or like the actual solution I had from an early thing decided wasn't possible. And then when I retry it later thinking, well, this is stupid, it won't work. It like works, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. I like it, mid. Um. Okay, well, the lady on the speaker keeps saying something about paradoxal protocols, so I'm going to hold on to this, and I'm going to walk outside with it. <gasps> Ew. Oh. Oh. Okay. Please paradox from creating any refrain. Okay. Explosive dream overload. result. Okay. She didn't like that. Okay. Well, the world didn't like that, actually. <gasps> no, not, not jungles. Ooh. Oh my god, are we getting a flashbang? Ah! My eyeballs. My eyeballs. Ugh. Do I get to wake up now? Do I get to wake up? Hold on, for a second I thought I was in a beautiful dream world, but then I saw fucking traffic cones. I don't like anything that reminds me of parking lots. <laughs> okay, so that's a space in there. White. This one's black. Okay, all the surfaces are weirdly mirrored. Okay. Not an exit. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, it's its own world. I guess it's like a white space and a black space. Okay. Okay, so we have like two spaces. Do I want to go there? Oh, 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 I can just do that. I fall through. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Hated that. <laughs> I hated that the hand just appeared. Yee. Okay. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, my eyeballs. The time isn't even right. Hello. My name Hi. is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hey. And many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that. Oh, he's getting all philosophical with it. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm. White space. This is what you want? This guy wants to be in, like, a hellscape. He's gonna sell you toothpaste. I know. I'm waiting for him to be like, the joy of Cutco knives, you know? I'm just waiting for it. I feel like he's about to do it at any moment. Don't worry, in my beautiful white space, we'll place orange traffic cones so that you can find your way. Weary lost traveler. Don't worry. I hear rain, but it's not raining. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. 
I like the rain. Okay. Okay, is this what you wanted to see, Doctor? It's the layout. Brace me. Relax yet. Minerals. Female toads. Is this what you like, Doctor? Is this a doctor? Some kind of freak? Okay. There's a sign over there. Not an exit. Okay. These create shadows, but I can't go. Oh, I can. I can. I can. Okay. I was going to say this shadow looks weirdly like, like there's depth to it. They say go forward. I always wanted floors in a home that looked like this. They were like black tile that's super uh, reflective so that I felt like I was in the Death Star. Okay, okay, and that's that space that we saw before. Imagine the Death Star flooring with white walls. You can burn your eyes. A high contrast will just destroy your retinas. Okay, this was the, the boxy, um, the early boxy kind of rooms. Are they playing this music and making me go through my own things that I remember within this game to try and get me to cry or something? Are they trying to make me nostalgic for <laughs> rooms I just walked through like two hours ago? <laughs> what the fuck? Let me in. Oh. Silly Dr. Glenn, you can never make me nostalgic for a place that I haven't spent much time in. Never, ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. What to do with my because trash? With a lifetime of life itself behind me, uh -huh. and all of the weight that it carried. I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Do you, do you guys have like deep internal thoughts and struggles like this? Or are you like me and you just wake up and you're like, my cat's so cute, I want lunch. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> thank you. I was like, am I missing something <laughs> like important in my life right now? <laughs> Not to say I've never found anything profound. But, like, I don't think many things are this big of a fucking deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> Only in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I feel so slidey. Okay. Wake up for lunch. Yup. Exit. Exit is up there. Ex exit is up. E exit. Exit. Okay, I'm, I'm testing where all the walls in this area are. It's just a hallway. And these are just telling me to turn around. Huh? Exit. I can see little particles up there. I can see little, like, like lines, like anti-aliasing. <laughs> I can, I can see the anti-aliasing fucking up. There's something up there. Let me in. Let me in! What do they want from me? Do I BLJ? Do I turn around? Whoa, 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 whoa! Can't BLJ in this game. Is it, is it that these are stairs if I jump this way? Stairway to heaven moment? <sighs> they won't let me BLJ. All right. And there's nothing here, right? This is literally just like, hey, you should turn around. Yeah, I can't grab them. Okay. Huh?
run up and this way for exit is what this tells me do I do it like over here is there like uh, an invisible thing that I can't see that I should be jumping up I don't think so <gasps> Rayu 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 ah! <gasps> Rayu how are you that you're the raid welcome on in I'm expanding my brain and my consciousness to accept this guy's, um, Rick and Morty IQ writing in this game. Wow. Wow. Isn't it so beautiful, Rayu? Are you crying? Are you crying? Is this one 3D? <gasps> Not light mode, deal with it. Get blasted, get blasted. Ah. <gasps> Colors, finally, they're back. Red, red, yellow, blue. What's the difference between these? It looks like a very long interior of, oh, oh, it feels like it gets longer when it, oh, ooh, starting to do something. Feels like the interior of um, uh, an elevator, almost. Let's go in this one. Okay. So if I walk into the red-yellow side and turn left, it puts me out the red-blue side. Yeah. And then I, f I walk in the red-blue side and turn right. This puts me out the red-yellow side. Okay. If I walk around it. <gasps> cool thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this door. Why does this make me think of near? <laughs> You're well beyond Why? dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. <gasps> but we hope that you won't get discouraged. Well beyond dreaming, I'm a dead. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective. Isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Yeah, the underground city. Yeah, Isn't yeah. Isn't that why you came here? Isn't that why you came here? Look, I came here because everyone said this game was cool. <gasps> it looks like compacted salt. Ah, the drink cooler. I was in the drink cooler. <laughs> this is near at home. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so loud. We can we can play a game. You play li oh. Never mind. Wait a minute. Okay, and then what if I <gasps> But didn't I walk from here? Oh, is it the spaces that it has, um... So if I place a queen here... Wait... Do I just have to place it there? Is that it? I just have to place it? Is that all? I'm trying to not overthink it. I was about to... Yeah, 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 sorry. Oh, good, the king, sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny little crosshead. Look, I was about to be like, oh, we're playing chess in this game. But no, you're not. You're literally just putting them there. <laughs> you're, just, you're just placing the pieces, dude. That's all. <laughs> That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. Just put them on the floor, bro. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I was like, okay, I'm gonna set up my awesome move. I don't know if I need to do this one, but I'm going to. Okay. Ooh. Block with what? A zero? Two zeros? Nothing but zeros. I'm not allowed in there. 
I can't even see up there. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I want to go up that way. Uh, I don't have anything else, though. I can't go through there. Okay. Is this a wall? This is a wall. And is this a wall? This is a wall. Okay, so on my left... Is oh! What? You got so tiny. It was because I looked at the wall. <laughs> you became a little baby. Okay, if I'm, I'm I'm touching the wall right here. Oh, you're so tiny. Just a little guy. I have to do it like that. Am I against the wall right here? Wait. Is it treating whatever's in front of me? Do I have to do it against the black space here? Oh, I think I do. Um... I'm unsure here because I don't have anything else to get me up there. And it's just white. Just, just white. I can't, I can't go through this. Can I place this through here? Does that make this exist? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. It's only real if you can perceive something in that space. Ooh, okay. It's time for the big cheese. The big cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge cheese. There we go. Okay. <gasps> More checkerboard. Um. Ooh, disco dance floor. Oh. Black spaces only. Okay. And then this one's white spaces only. Is there, is there a door? Is, is there a door? No, I can't jump through that. Huh? 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 What if I just jump down like a bajillion times? There's a bottom. Oh! Oh, you're just supposed to fall through. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Ska Hell. That's, oh, that's what it feels like. It's just what I'm looking at. Okay. It really is, dude. This feels like a Jamiroquai music video. That's that's what it feels like. Like if he made one, but you know, today he'd do some shit like this. You can pick this up. Oh, <gasps> no, the sound is coming for me. Oh no, seven something a.m. <gasps> the sound. Fake <laughs> my insanity. It really feels like it. Oh, I'm still, I'm still going. Oh, oh no, I have to go to work. No. Okay. I think this is all about this dude not wanting to go to work. I think the whole game is about him not wanting to wake up and go to work. Oh, God, it's so loud here. Okay, I already went in there, so we're back here. Like, I went through that Hello. sequence. <gasps> my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Ah! Well, it is you a video see, game. Everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks for the emo. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, now we're backtracking through. But more often than not, 
Very profound, Dr. Glenn. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again. I'll explain my thoughts after he talks. Again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Uh huh. Yay, we get to go backwards through the, the stuff we did. Oh, uh. yeah. The bouncy castle. Let me go in the bouncy castle. No, it's too small. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's your favorite room. Wow. It's that hallway that I liked that some of you said it was just back rooms piss color, but I thought it was nice. Your life will always be a struggle. No. And you will always have problems. Yes, but no. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. All right. <laughs> though it meant facing obstacles that seemed <laughs> okay, impossible buddy. at first, you thought outside the box. All right. And you Look. overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle. Do you know what I'm about to say? Really Chat, can you guess what I'm about to say? Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how <laughs> giga clutching. Came, yep. You your way. <laughs> I was I was gonna say this this I'm sure this is really profound for someone, but I don't I don't have this problem. I have other problems. I don't have this problem. <laughs> the thing he was saying about like, oh, you get so afraid of failure that you don't look at things from a new perspective. I'm like, no, that's not one of the, the, the problems I have. I'm not afraid of failure. I just keep trying shit. That's why I play video games on stream. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. <laughs> Some parts of you will say that, no, you know, so I was afraid of failure. Of I'd only play games I was incredibly good at on stream. And never Just anything like else. The power of perspective itself, it right? Have been as real <laughs> as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. No. Oh my god, do I actually wake up? Mods ban this Glenn guy. <gasps> that was a good game though. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I think I, I want to know if anything different would have happened if I didn't sign the this TOS at the beginning. This was a PSA about not eating spicy chicken before bed. <laughs> I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I think the puzzles are good. Um, a couple things... There were, there were like, what? Three, three, three puzzles I struggled with or something? Everything else seemed okay. It was just like being finicky about it. Um, but the, the ending deep meaning or whatever, I think is, uh, really dependent on the person that plays. Like, no matter how well you write that kind of thing, it will only resonate with people that have that problem too, which is a good number of people, but like, but I don't. So I'm like, <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, fine. All right. All right. <laughs> However, I'm certain that if there's a person who's like, that's their life's problem, that they would play this and cry, you know? <laughs> Like, definitely. Thanks for the sub. That's kind of... That's how I feel. Oh, Runecat, thank you for banning Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's funny how indie devs always have the urge to add some story that doesn't feel necessary at all. You know... Let me relate my... Uh, let me relate my business experience to this for a second. Something that people who are new to business always mess up when they're like pitching something when they're selling something is that they always say too much they give too much information they tell you why you should care about a thing every time you pitch something you should give the fewest number of words the fewest number of bullet points that that, it, that you possibly can you want to deliver everything in as boiled down as a concept as possible but everyone's so like but but i really care about this project and because there are all these cool cool things so i'm gonna list out all these cool things and they like overdo it right always and i think indie devs do that too definitely where where they're like you know i want to make sure that they understand exactly why this is so profound so i'm gonna have the ending be this whole big thing where you go through all of this you know 
and they, they've got like a whole spiel at the end. And that's, that's why a lot of indie games are like that. It's because they haven't worked in huge studios where they kind of beat into you <laughs> the idea that like, no, less is more, less is more, please, less is more. Let people come to the conclusion themselves. Same thing with writing, same thing with books. You can tell who's a more amateur author because they'll they'll tell you too directly what you're supposed to feel while you're reading the book. Whereas a really good writer like doesn't tell you shit. You know, you, you just feel it typically. So I think I think that happens across like all sorts of media, all sorts of like, like I'm saying in the workplace and all that, right? At the end, thanks for dreaming. <laughs> like, like that's cute, but like we didn't need that. But if you put this here, but not that big ending. All right, you know, I don't think it was too forced in this game at all. I don't think it was too forced. I think, like I said, it was just like, it depends on who's playing it. It depends on who's playing it, right? There's a difference between telling and showing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why <laughs> this is someone's Outer Wilds, right? I was gonna say, that's why I think Outer Wilds does land for most people. Like pretty much everyone like feels something incredible when they play Outer Wilds, because that's a very show don't tell kind of game. They do not tell you a single thing. It's just like, you're finding stuff out. When you get to the ending, they still, some stuff is still a little like you're trying to figure out the significance a little bit. Um, I've seen some people kind of half misinterpret it, but it's still, their interpretation is still always something that like they should have taken away from the game anyway. It's maybe just not like the exact thing from the ending. It depends on how much they read throughout it, whatever, you know? So I think, um, yeah, it's, it's a good example of like, good good gameplay and then like they're just doing that one that one indie dev thing but that's fine i don't think that's a bad thing i think every dev does that at first <laughs> you know same way horror movies are yeah right 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 exactly exactly outer wilds was heavy-handed no 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 they didn't tell you what you're supposed to feel at all they gave you everything you needed to figure out how to play the game and they gave you all of the story as you slowly went through and figured it out. They didn't tell you how to feel about the game or anything like that. I think I think all they told you how to feel was occasionally they put a little background music in certain areas where something where you're learning a bigger piece of information. And then at the end, they're like, oh, gather everyone. That's it. Even then, I didn't feel like that was heavy handed, you know? But yeah. I think your first point was best. I Yeah, that's the one that I most stand by. I played this game back when it came out and was depressed and it hit hard, but today it felt cheesy because I don't feel that way anymore, right? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like if you hand this game to like a depressed friend, someone who's just like, like their brain is just like not there and you're like, oh, why don't you play this? They'll probably be like, Ugh. like at the end, like it's so deep, bro, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying really. So what the hell is the multi extra modes? Battle Royale. Challenge other players in new levels to earn experimental dream coins. <laughs> okay. Co-op, play through a single player game with other friends online. You can play this together? What? No, there's no way anyone's playing Super Liminal Battle Royale right now. Somna Sculpt Group Therapy Experience Initiated. There's no way anyone's online. Please stand by. What? What the fuck is this? Scaling issue noted. Certain patients may be temporarily smaller than intended. Up. Gravity Up. bug detected. Hold on tightly to something close to you that is not a loved one. What is this? What the fuck is happening? What is this like when you play with other people? Should I force some VTubers to play this with me? <laughs> Guys, hop on so- Oh shit! I'm going fast as fuck! I'm on one of those fan boats. Guys, hop on Super Liminal Battle Royale! I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It looks goofy as hell, but what if it fucks? What if it, oh, they got this room. What if, does this hit people? Is that what these are? Is this an attack? Physics malfunction alert. Please wait while corrections are applied. <laughs> what, is 
What is this? What is happening? You can go in here to escape everyone else? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Let's go. Yeah, player two join? Yeah, for half a second. Oh my god. <gasps> this is jungles. Oh. They let you go into it, finally. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm not gonna stay in here if there are no uh, players online, but this is, um... This is all very cute. <laughs> Okay, so then what are the what are the extra modes? Challenge mode, developer, commentary, Somnisculpt, workshop, beta. Developer commentary. All right, let's see what this is. Let's see what they Hello, have to say. Hello and welcome to Hi. the Superliminal Developer Commentary. I'm Albert, game director of Hi, Superliminal. Albert. Myself and the rest of the team will be popping up every now and then as you play. Mm -hmm. With subtitles open, you can see who is talking and what their role on the game is. Oh, this is cool. Okay, okay, okay. You think the depth commentary is going to make you hate it? Okay, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see if we like it or hate it. If we get in there and they're like, The liminal space represents the tunnel vision of the mind when you are too focused on your it problems and you cannot see things from a new perspective if they say that when we go down a big hallway i'm gonna be like oh, uh but if they're like yo i loved making this hallway because like uh the wallpaper you know then that'll be cute hi my name's chris hi i was the producer and designer on superliminal hi chris i'm not gonna say this, time. this is will o'neill and i was the writer on superliminal hi will Sorry for not okay, getting so hit with the writing at the end. Super Liminal is actually one of the last parts we finished. Aww. Throughout development, we created so many That's different cool, interactions actually. to the game. Not a oh. lot of people ask about how the resizing mechanic works. I didn't works. realize that would cut them off. The concepts are actually quite easy. Mm -hmm. To keep an object looking the same, assume if we move the object twice as far away, mm -hmm. it just needs to be twice as big. Mm -hmm. It's all proportional. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, this also works no matter what field of view you use. Right. The hard part of this mechanic isn't the actual <gasps> resizing. It's trying to figure out where the object needs to be. All right. Hey, this is Matt. I Hi, did Matt. the music and sound. Oh, I liked the music. I liked all this the music. This very first game. jazz piece in the game is called I Wonder. It's called and I Wonder. If it sounds at all familiar to you, that's mm -hmm. because you just heard its melody and chord progression in the Somnoscope TV jingle back at the start of the game, which I called Smooth Wonder. Smooth wonder. Hi, I'm Logan, and I'm level designer on Superliminal. Hi, Logan. A difference with the main resizing mechanic in uh -huh. this game is how much freedom it gives the player. This puzzle is a good example. In most puzzle games, if you put an object on a button in this scenario, the object doesn't need to be moved anymore. Mm -hmm. The key to unlock the door removes the key from the problem space. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in our game, you can just turn around and grab the object from any distance away. Therefore, we've gotten good at adding barriers in many places so people won't carry an object through all puzzles forever. I see, I see. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol. Hi, my name is Alex, and I performed gameplay programming on Superliminal. Oh, this dude, this dude did the most. When I joined Mr. the project, Alex. there weren't really any menus except the absolute bare minimum to get the player into the game. They always and there wasn't any last. keyboard support either. Giga Chad Alex. <laughs> So the first order of business was to add proper mouse and keyboard support to the title and pause menus. Oh, the God. The part was supporting switching between the two on the fly. Uh -huh. Because you never know when the player is going to do it, and it could lock them out of the game. There's always stuff like that that takes a lot of time. With that foundation... Going through just making sure everyone can play the game. In terms of the menus, there wasn't much work to do. The pad basically mm -hmm. acts as a keyboard. But gameplay was quite a different story. As all we right. approached launch, we all agreed that controller support wasn't quite I want to let him speak. Par, and so we shipped without it, adding it around a month after launch. I see, I see. To make controllers feel as good as mouse I'm and keyboard, read this in my I head. a bunch of code to modify how controller input is interpreted. For mouse and keyboard... Okay, okay. So controller in support end, was just difficult so because it's very finicky. ...accelerates the longer the stick is pressed and Ooh. behaves differently based on whether you are looking vertically or horizontally. And also while you're okay. holding an object. I thought we were going to hear Probably like the stupid shit, quote, but no. Auto lock feature. I like which this. Which draws the focus to a grabbable object as your cursor gets closer to it. 
All these changes culminated in controllers feeling much more accurate and satisfying. Hi there, I'm Steve, I'm the art director of Super Little. Hi Steve. One of our main visual touchstones for this section centers around a couple of silly questions. Uh huh. What would someone in the early 90s dream up as a futuristic testing facility? Just like my and movies. How could they build that on a shoestring budget but with infinite time? I feel like those two questions were ones we actually asked ourselves more than once during the process of making this game. It's like when you watch The Matrix and that's like what they thought the future was going to look like and then you are in the here and now and you're like, yeah, no way. No fucking way. <laughs> same sort of same sort of thing. Or in the 60s, what they thought the 2000s were going to look like. And they're like, oh, you know, or, or I think a good example is the Jetsons. They were like, oh, in the not so distant future, everyone's going to have round oval fucking houses that look weirdly mid-century, but also futuristic, right? When we were playtesting, we <laughs> Flying cars. that players were getting tripped up on different aspects of the resize mechanic. Mm. So we try to make each puzzle in this level teach a specific action. The cheese puzzle is our way of forcing players to Your make game teaches actions? very small to very big. And the puzzle after it's just that like Mega Man X. <laughs> this broken window puzzle is to teach you how to make things small and fit through a hole, mm -hmm. but at a distance, so you can't simply All walk up to it. Incredible, Albert. Okay. Mental. I understand. I understand. I like that, actually, and I'll, I'll probably, on my own, just, like, listen to it. <laughs> I think I'll genuinely, on my own, go through and just be like... What do they have to say about this puzzle? Because I kind of like that. I enjoy that a lot. Okay, so they have the developer commentary. What's the challenge mode? Is it just... Is it just harder? Is it harder or is it specific challenges? Let's listen together. I'm not going to stream long enough for that, though. Maybe we could do it in Discord. I'll sign it this time. What's the challenge mode? It's a 0 out of 9 in the top right. What, 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 cha what, what are the challenges? Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Uh -huh. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be Somnasculpt. monitored Somnasculpt. by qualified specialists. Oh. This orientation will adapt oh, you don't to jump. Items. Terms of service accepted. Only use two touches and don't Welcome jump. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored oh, by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids. Our interactive, lucid induction dream state is low enough that I can retain full consciousness and control. Ooh, uh, oh, I could have used this. I could have done that. Okay. <gasps> Hi, Zen. I just played Super Liminal. Congratulations. I played through the whole thing. Asleep. Welcome and now what I'm doing is I'm trying, they they had a bunch of by modes, they had a bunch of game modes that this we were looking at, will adapt you to and this one is challenge mode, so if you look at the top, they're limiting things, so they're like, you can only touch control. two objects, you can only use your hand twice, and you can't jump. <laughs> Which is actually really cool, and they have a weird battle royale mode, apparently. <laughs> there's, there's an actual battle royale mode, Zen. Hop on super liminal BR, <laughs> please. Oh, I don't know how to make that big enough in one move. Fuck. Oh shit. Yeah, hop on super liminal, bitch. Accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Can I like Welcome to get onto this with it? Maybe. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Get up real close this to it. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids. Our interactive, lucid induction dream state in oh, which you retain full yeah, consciousness it's too high. and control. I think I think I think what I was doing was like terms of service accepted. Get in there. Congratulations on falling asleep. Sort of. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may Welcome be monitored Somnasculpt. by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids. Our interactive, Fuck. lucid induction it's dream state right. in which you retain Maybe I put it here and then and, and then control. walk up this. Let me see if that would work. No, no, I would fall there. Mm, okay. okay. Terms of service oh my god, I don't want to hear about Somnasculpt from this lady. Welcome to Somnasculpt. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, okay. our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain <gasps> full consciousness and control. <gasps> oh! 
Ooh, got him. Okay, two touches, two jumps. Okay. I have to do that. Touch. Oh, you have to make it huge. So you can get up there. Oh, okay. Okay. Where's that there? Okay. How, how big, how big can I make this? Oh my god. Fuck. I had to put it like, like, I had to put it like there. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I just have to aim it right. Making it as big as possible. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, okay, challenge mode is cool as fuck. Confirm. I like this. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects. Because now you know. Like, how do you make this replayable if you already know how to do the puzzles, right? Please note that I am One the touch. standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part huh? of your patient care team. I do not care. Oh, there's a little glass wall. Oh my god. There's a glass wall on this one. <laughs> okay. You have to drop it right above it. Wait. It's just gonna be too far. Um. Only thing I could see is that this is the right, like, like this is next to it. Oh, wait, I pressed R. Here we go. Um, let me play around with it and just see if I can figure out how to do it. So, what does what does this do? That goes on there. Yeah, that sends it too far. Ah, uh, then this is here. How would I do that? What I need I just need an object that's lined up with this to slap it onto. Mm. It's the trickiest one, you think? Yeah, I feel like conceptually I like, I like see how it could work. What if what, could I place it like right on top of this and then it tips over? No. I'm doing it by like pixel. Yeah, no no no, it just sets it in front. <gasps> huh? Huh? Let it slide off the table? It doesn't slide. Not that I don't think it does. I placed it on the table before. I'll show you again. It just, it just, uh, was there. Maybe, maybe, yeah, you could, unless you mean tip off of it, like, I could place it like this. Oh, no, wait, that would be too far. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can get that to work because it's so small. Ooh. And then these walls are too far. Oh, that's difficult. And then this this is a hard edge, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I believe they're community puzzles. That's yeah, people were saying that this one has um what's it? Like a workshop. Which you already know is just going to be really good. Uh, what if I make it larger? Ah. Yep. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I need to move it over more. I didn't catch the edge with like a small enough clearance did that hit okay oh <gasps> let's go Ooh. okay two hand one jump to get up there it's 
time for big cheese. It's time for huge cheese. Okay, one jump. During eyelids, you will lose the ability okay. to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. One. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. Get in there? Dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining okay. orientation activities. As far as possible. Oh no. Oh no no no, it doesn't it doesn't matter. This should be this should be enough. Oh. Oh fuck, I'm so close. <gasps> I need to be like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's close. I need to be really far from it. And then real close. When the lighting changes, it's in there. Oh, fuck. <gasps> ah, it was so close. Congrats on joining. Thank you. It will work out. I saw a ton of people asking questions and being like, what does it do for you? They're like really curious about like the details or like why join or whatever. Um, but I don't think I have any details to give. <laughs> it's all really specific things in my contract, whatever, that I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And I spent a really long time like negotiating so that things went well. So that's all I'll say really. <laughs> if anyone was like, why? I thought for a really long time, and I worked at it for a really long time to make sure it was good. The end. Uh. And I can't, I can't go here and make it smaller because I have to grab these and like do that. So that doesn't work. I feel like I'm like almost there. Dental medical? No, no, no. We're not. Em we're not employees. No, I wouldn't want to be W two'd. Uh, I don't. Th there's no way for me to get farther from this. To adjust my perspective and make it smaller. Whoops. <laughs> Should not have grabbed it like that. I don't know. I thought. I thought this really would be it. You just get like really close. But, you know, it's it just kind of always ends up like that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nope. All right. Well, this isn't it. So the, I'm doing this the absolute, absolute most optimal way almost to get it like to be really small. And that's not working. So I need to do... Um, how far can I be from this? I think I need to do this. Oh. It fell. <laughs> I think that's it, though, because I, I like, can't possibly make this smaller. Let's grab it from an angle. Oh, okay. I love how even the tiniest object can still, like, depress the button. It has enough. Uh, wait. This needs to be s small. It needs to be small. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, maybe uh, a little farther back. Maybe uh, from here. Mmm, doesn't feel like it fits through there very well. Oh! I will take it. I will take it. Perceived during eyelids should reflect Jesus. A typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a Only comprehensive one for rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Oh, I dropped survey. it. Completed surveys this is just a, a singular try to get, to get it right. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this mode is cool. I actually would really like it if the whole game had this the whole time. <laughs> Although I get it for later puzzles, it's probably very hard to figure out how to even do them when you're restricted. But I think it'd be really neat if it was just always like that. 
Um, was this the sign one? They want me to make this fucking enormous, and I will. Is that the middle? Is the light the middle? Nope. <laughs> Light's not the middle. Nope. Oh, oh, I was seeing that one. It's it's in between them. I see. Okay. It's about 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 there. What? <laughs> Why'd you turn? <laughs> Why? I think the restrictions could be used as hints. That's true, yeah, for some of them. Absolutely. And then there are other parts where um well, actually, no, I haven't got to those other parts yet. All right. Surely this time... I gotta go quick before it falls. Okay. Please stand by for the light okay. recognition on your completion of the orientation. You did it. You did it. To maximize Thank you. the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. This was this. Go here, back up, big cheese on the wall. Fuck. <laughs> Go here. Big cheese on the wall. Okay. Oh. I did that out of habit. Completely did it out of habit. <laughs> I didn't need to. Big cheese on the wall. Fuck. What? Big cheese, why must you do this to me? I'm, I'm like... Thought we were chill. There we go. It's because it needs to turn a little. It needs to go that way a little bit. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. Ah! So we did nine of nine of the first area. Nice. Okay. This mode is really fucking cool. I want to do more of it. I do. But not right now. Not right now. Because I'm trying to not stream, like, too long. Like, I usually stream a, a bit longer. Um, Because I'm streaming, like, every day this week. So I think that's a... I think that's a good soft spot. I think that's a good, a good spot. And then maybe in like, Discord, perhaps. I could do more of those a little bit later. Does that sound good? Does that sound nice? All right, thank you. Thank you for joining. It's been good, it's been real. I hate that when I tab out of the game, the music stops playing, so I'm gonna hit the BGM button. There we go. Superliminal Battle Royale in Discord. How many of you actually have it? Do enough... It, I think it doesn't start a match until we have 12. So do 11 people in the chat have it? And will they hop in Discord at some point if we plan out a time to test the Battle Royale? It's a Game Pass? <gasps> okay, wait. Maybe that maybe that makes it easier. Me? Okay, interesting. Not tonight. Not tonight. But we can find a day and test uh, Superliminal's Battle Royale mode. <laughs> I just, I really want to know what the fuck it's like. It, it's, it looks so, like, it could be so shitty, but also looks like it could be really fun. And, and it's a complete toss-up. I just have to try it at some point. And it looks like it does not let you play unless you have 12 people, so. Maybe we'll do that at some point. <laughs> and we'll see, maybe like this weekend or something. <laughs> but okay, that's it. Um, tomorrow I'm streaming at 2 p.m. EST. Right? Yeah, 2 p.m. EST. Um, and then I'm doing... What am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna chat for like two hours and then I'm gonna start Frog Detective 3 with Haruka. That's gonna be a fucking banger. If you want to read some of the funniest writing or hear some of the funniest lines you've ever heard in your life, that's it. Frog Detective 3, as I've been promising for weeks. We're doing that tomorrow. Um, Haruka and I reading. And then Thursday... Yes, Thursday, I'm doing a chatting stream with Mel. Um... Feel free to do so in the Discord, but I'm looking for suggestions on, like, specific Reddit posts you would love for us to, like, basically do, like, react court on. 
or subreddits you think it'd be funny if we pulled stuff from, even if you don't have a specific post. If you're just like, oh, just please read Am I the Asshole posts, right? We could do things like that. Um, I know some subreddits that have been absolutely poisoned by like fake posts. So please try to find ones that seem like plausible ones that are maybe not the biggest subreddits ever, you know? But yeah, in suggestions, yeah, yeah. Just put them in there. Um, and then I'll, I'll pull some and Mel and I will go through them and just chat, just hang out and, <laughs> and read through some bullshit. <laughs> Want the mods to vet them? Uh, probably, probably, yeah. And, and I'll probably look through some of them myself too. So I'm telling you now, so you've all of tomorrow to do that. And then early Thursday before the stream, I'll go through. That's 3 p.m. EST on Thursday. And then, let me see, Friday, uh, we'll do a medieval Friday, same time. Saturday, the Splatfest is happening. Splatoon Splatfest. So me, Haruka, Mina, and Grape are going to be playing. And then Sunday, we have two things. I'm going to go through all the offerings that are put in the offerings channel by, uh, I think we'll cut it off midnight Saturday. And then uh, Mousy said she was going to steal me. She wants us to open our, our Valheim server that day. So I was getting it set up today. So we'll be doing it. What team are you guys on? Ooh, we're on, we're on Team Fry. Grape said she picked Team Fry. I wanted Team Big Man, but she picked Team Fry, and I went, all right. <laughs> I really wanted to be Team Big Man, but she picked first. And that's why I said, I was like, whoever picks a team and plays in the Splatfest first, that's just what we're going to do. But yeah, Big Man Enjoyer, yeah. I miss Splatoon. I haven't played it in a while. It's been a hot minute, so uh, I'm, I'm going to play the shit out of it this week. Any extra time I get. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I'm going to find someone to raid to send you to. And then we chill. We chill and we come back tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST. Um, um, oh. Henya's gonna continue Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. <laughs> Her title is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, Chit Chat, Epic Lunch Time Dio. A time zones sucks. <laughs> so true, Henya, so true. <laughs> <laughs> a time zone sucks yeah i agree yeah it was it was it was fun streaming with her yesterday but it's a very late stream for me at that kind of time but it was it was nice because I, I do stay up late so it's all good let's let's go raid henya i was watching her play it um the other day and it was just really funny because she like she screams at like everything they these cute little like signs that come out from the wall where it's got like a little a little cartoony dude like the equivalent of like a Goomba, you know, like just a cute little thing. And she'll see that come out from the wall and she'll be like, ah, and like scream at it. It's so funny. <laughs> it's just funny that everything sudden like scares her. <laughs> so we can, uh, we can go watch that. We can go watch that. That'll be fun. Um, okay. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Go have fun at Henya's stream. I'll just go back to the starting soon screen whenever uh, whenever I'm reading, I think, okay? Bye-bye, <gasps> everybody. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.